Hi, I'm Ilya Marchenko. I'm Janis Kuda. I'm Evgeny Donskoy. I'm Henry Larson. I'm Peter Toretko, and you're listening to the Game to Love podcast. Hey, welcome back, everybody. Uh, we had a busy one last night, didn't we, with Rafa Nadal? We're back now with the world number one, Djokovic, and he's just taken the first serve there. Uh, and, well, there you go. He's at the net, and he wins the first point of the match just in time this time, weren't we? Nice to see everybody back in the comments. we got Mitrovic there. Uh, anybody watching City Rublev? Yeah, well, that one finished pretty abruptly, didn't it? And we got Jackie who's back there. I uh, said, uh, where's the fizz, Ruby? So, yeah, totally agree. JG will be with us shortly. He's just having to finish off a little bit of work, and then he'll be with us to, well, enjoy this rematch of the match that didn't really even uh, get going in the US Open. And we're all hoping that that line judge is uh, nowhere to be seen today. Uh, so we've got Djokovic. 30 love up already there on his first serve. Looking pretty good so far. Serve just out to the Carinio Buster forehand, just wide. Got a second serve here. Who's everybody? What's everybody's uh, thoughts on the match? What are you uh, thinking? How do you think? reckon this one's going to go? Do you reckon it's going to be a flawless Djokovic victory? Carinio Buster's been looking pretty good in this uh, tournament so far. Can he cause an upset? What do you reckon? Let us know. A bit of an earlier start than we predicted. Uh, I was having to rush around to try and get on here or get everything set up because Sitter Pass was, well, in amazing form today. Makes a change, doesn't it? But it's what we were talking about on a few of the podcasts. Sitter Pass could be one that challenges the big guns. And, uh, well, Djokovic, if he manages to get through this, could see a very, very exciting match with Sitter Pass Djokovic. And no JG, which means a game to love. <laughs> As in the last game yesterday, we had games to love in the first two games with Rafael Nadal versus uh, Yannick Sinner. And game to love for the first game here. So cheers. Sean's there in the comments. Says game to love. Yes, it was, mate. And Antonio says Djokovic is already aiming for the linesman, which uh, I hope not. <laughs> we don't want to see another default, do we? Come on. We want to see the best players left in this competition. And uh, hopefully we can see, well, the true Djokovic play against uh, Carino Buster. And hopefully he keeps his tantrums uh, to a minimum today because we'd love to see some amazing tennis. I mean, rather it wasn't over before the first set finished. Yeah, and uh, Olam Bibi says, uh, no upset, Her and Hercules was flawless against Rublev. He pretty much was. Didn't uh, look like Rublev had any answers for St Stefanos today. Uh, Stefanos actually showing that... Uh, better mental side which is what we wanted more from him well more from him but he didn't show maybe in that Hamburg final against Rublev so some people might have tipped uh, Rublev to take that today we me and JG we were both on the side of uh, Sitter Pass winning that one and uh, yeah we were right we thought maybe it'd go a little bit longer maybe four sets but Sitter Pass when he's on form he's on form here we go Crinio Buster Serving well so far. Great shot by Djokovic there, cross court and 15 all. That's an amazing winner from Djokovic. He can just turn it on sometimes when he has to. So, 15 all. Not getting another game to love so soon. Carino Buster. Djokovic standing about two meters behind the baseline. So, always serves, clips the net, and uh, it's gone long. <laughs> yeah, Sean's right there. Uh, after the game, will there be one question that isn't about the default? I doubt it as well. Probably, uh, unless he does something even more controversial in this match. Uh, let's hope not. Let's hope that we get to see the best. Uh, good play there from Krenja Buster. Forced Djokovic out wide and uh, 
hit the forehand cross court into the emptier side of the court. So now serving 30-15. Interesting so far. It'd be always important to hold your first service game of the match. Oh, that was not a good serve. Look like a terrible ball toss. I wonder how the wind is there today. It's been pretty breezy over the uh, yeah over the whole two weeks so far. Oh, it's served it out towards Djokovic's backhand. It's a good kick serve there, and he's uh, only managed to get it into the net. So we're at forty fifteen, and we've got these uh, strange guys in the crowd again, always going. Ooh. I don't know why they're always doing that. Does anybody else know why they do that? <laughs> so. Carreño Buster looking to join his Spanish compatriot in the, the semi-finals. And Djokovic is wide there with a the slice, and we're one all. Both players holding their serve, and uh, not a bad start to the match. It's been uh, been some good shots, been some bad shots, but take a while to get, get back into it. What do you reckon? Let's get some predictions going in the comments. Let us know what you think. Do you think it's going to be? Give us some set predictions. Give us some uh, match predictions. I want to see. Do you think Djokovic 3 0? Do you think it's going to go five sets? Do you think we're how many game to loves or do you reckon we're going to see in this? Hopefully, quite a few. Djokovic serving down the tee. Buster's gone backhand to Djokovic's backhand, and Djokovic is into the net there. And we got a love 15. Interesting. So Djokovic sporting a uh, red and white attire today. He likes this look, I think. It's a good one. And uh, Karina Buster in the orange, as always. Good serve by Djokovic down the tee and a wide return there from Karina Buster. Yeah, Djokovic is good at saving. Uh, when he goes down a point, you always normally expect the next point to be a little bit uh, tougher. So here we go. And we got the first prediction. Oh, second. Well, oh, look, they're all coming in now. Got four sets Djokovic prediction. We've got Sean there. Three nil, hopefully. Oh, but Buster can cause problems with Djokovic. Yeah, he can indeed. And we've got a very precise prediction here from Wildlife. Six, three, seven, six, six, four Djokovic. Well, if that comes in, that'll be an amazing prediction. I'm looking good so far. 30 15 Djokovic. Oh, into the net. Karina Buster takes a couple more steps inward and uh, into the court. See what we're going to get from this Djokovic. He's gone down the tee. It looks long. He, he wasn't sure on it. I thought it was long. Linesman called it long. And yeah, umpire's come to it. He's saying it's that's a. Double fault for Djokovic there. First one of the match. Tlanta, as the umpire says. And uh, Wildlife saying Djokovic has an undershirt, unlike Rafa, who bitched about the cold being dangerous. Yeah, I mean, I've, one thing I always uh, live by is it's never the wrong weather, just the wrong clothes. So you can uh, use that one in your life, wherever you are. Even if in, you're in a rainstorm, you could always be feeling comfortable if you're wearing the right clothes. So maybe Rafa just needs to stop moaning and maybe just put the right clothes on. Here we go. They're rallying. Buster's put it into the Djokovic backhand. He's pushing Djokovic around the court. It's Djokovic forehand. They're down the middle. A slice from Djokovic. They're going cross-court slice at the moment. Crenio Buster, oh, Djokovic into the Buster forehand. Now he's forced him wide. Oh, and they're going backhand to backhand. Now Crenio Buster. Oh, he's tried to force the shot there, just catching Djokovic by going the same way, but it didn't work. Just smidge wide there on that backhand. Oh, they're hitting it so, yeah, they hit it so fast. It's hard to uh, keep up with the rallies, isn't it? Quite a long rally, that longest rally of the match, I'm sure. Yeah, and it says there, I believe it says 23 shots, I believe. Quite a long rally. Here we go. <laughs> Here we go. And uh, 
Good serve by Djokovic, and he holds. And Sean's saying, Nadal is too OCD for undershirts. And I'm uh, at liberty to agree with that. <laughs> JG's just chimed in with the comments there with a uh, 3-0 Djokovic over before I finish work. <laughs> well, let's hope we get you on here, JG. Come on. Get those fingers typing a bit quicker. Get those journals posted. Make sure you uh, let your manager know that you're uh, coming on the live stream. But yeah, Nadal, two OCD for undershirts. Yeah, you can't be changing uh, what Rafael Nadal does on the court because as we saw last night, as with every match he has his rituals especially at Roland Garros and you're not going to start breaking those rituals now they've served him so well over the well past 15 16 years however many years he's been playing at Roland Garros and uh yeah he has all of his little ones didn't he like the pushing behind the ears like the eyebrows like pulling the wedgie out the bouncing the ball whacking off the clay uh and I'm sure Djokovic has got his own. I think he has to bounce the ball about 13 times or something ridiculous before he serves each time. So they each have their little strange thing. Obviously, you've got the Isner. He has to bounce it between his legs every time uh, before he serves. Here we go. Buster serving. 2-1 Djokovic. A wide serve there. Here we go. Crenio Buster serves it. Oh, it wasn't the best second serve. And Djokovic sort of anticipated that it was going to be a bit better than it was, I think. And he sort of rose to meet it and it didn't ever rise. And he just hit the ball into the sort of middle of the net. Bit, bit of a sad uh, shot, that, really. Oh, well, there we got Haranchi is into the comments. Says, easy, 3-0 Novak Djokovic. Buster is a bogey player for him though oh, yeah, and he could be look how well Buster's been playing in this tournament he's only dropped one set I believe and that was to Roberto Batista Agut and we know how good he is he even causes Djokovic tons of problems Agut so yeah we, we could be in for a, what could be a thriller here you you never know obviously he had some epic matches there in a the US Open as well, after he'd gone through against Djokovic. He had that five-setter with uh, Zverev as well, don't forget. Oh, a good serve there by Karenio Buster and long the return from Djokovic. Yeah, and uh, there's, I see Wild Lives noticing it. Djokovic flexing that left arm and uh, Jackie there. Djokovic keeps shaking out his arm, has a plaster on his neck. Maybe... He's a bit stiff. Oh, that old neck thing again. You don't need that starting to cause him problems. He had all of that. Uh, was it in the? Was it in Rome? That he was having that. Or was it the U.S. Open? But he was uh, having all those neck problems. But it didn't seem to affect his play. He's still head and shoulders above most of the uh, players in the tournament. No, they're having a great rally here anyway. Djokovic forced it though. They were going nice cross courts there, and then Djokovic tried to force one down the line. Just went long. Still finding their range, feeling each other out a little bit here. And, uh, yeah, neither player's looking convincing at hitting winners so far. So I think that they both just need to get into their stride a little bit, a little bit like Rafa was yesterday. He took a little bit of time. That first set, he was misfiring quite a lot. But as soon as he gets going, you saw the last set. Yeah, he's nearly unplayable. Oh, it's a good length. Oh, Djokovic is questioning uh, the shot from Crenio Buster there. It's, I think it just clipped the line, though. Yeah, he's uh, walking back. And uh, yeah, thanks for a wild live confirming there. Yeah, it was the Western Southern Open or what should have been the Cincinnati Open. Yeah, but he's having the, the neck problems. Yeah, I knew it was one of those ones. There's been so many tournaments over the past uh, two months, hasn't there? It's just been crazy trying to keep up with all of it. But it's been great because we didn't have tennis or proper tennis for about six months. So we can't complain. We're being treated to uh, some uh, amazing tennis. Well, everybody knows who uh, follows the podcast. Djokovic was my 
pick for the, the tournament before it started. Pretty safe pick to considering. Well, it was before we saw his side of the draw as well, to be honest. And once we saw his side of the draw, it was a nicer, well, healthier side to be picking. But you never know. Don't rule out Carino Buster and especially don't rule out Stefano Sitapas because we've seen how well he's been playing and he's taken out Rublev with ease, really. And Rublev's been playing really well. So it's going to be interesting, though. So let's have a look at this one. Djokovic lost his first point on serve there. He's love 15 again on his serve. Oh, that first serve was miles long there. Served out to the Carino Buster backhand side. There we go. Bouncing the ball for the mandatory times. It's gone into the body. He's playing it backhand to backhand across court. And he's gone for the drop shot. Oh, it's a dodgy one, that. It's hit it into the net. See, so he's still finding his range. He hasn't got the length on his shots yet. And he hasn't got the uh, touch there for the drop shots yet so as long as he doesn't well he's loved 30 on his serve i don't know if it was the right time to be testing out the drop shot to be honest and we're not are we going to see drop shot of it return with some amazing ones or that was a not a case of it then in that point we've got a second serve here and this is the first chance for carino buster really to get a little look in on this Djokovic serve here we go. Second serve. He's gone into the backhand. They're playing it down the middle. Oh, he's hit it into the buster forehand. Now they're going cross-court backhands at the moment. Going backhand to backhand. And I think JG is just about ready to join us. Djokovic has gone down the line. And he's gone down the other line. Now he's gone down the forehand line. And a great shot. And it's too powerful. And Djokovic... Stops himself going three break points down. So I'll add in JG. Welcome to the stream, sir. Here he is. Good evening, Ben. How are we doing? Yeah, not too bad, mate. You've not missed too much so far. Both players just sort of getting their feelers out and uh, just not the best play so far. There's just uh, been very average, I'd say, from both. But we all know how, well, as we saw from Rafi yesterday, when they start warming up, you get to see some real tennis. Yeah, mate, I've been watching it, uh, thankfully. I've not been driving this time, so I've been tapping away at my laptop, getting some work done, watching a bit of tennis with the, with the other eye. What do you reckon uh, on uh, Carino Buster's chances in this one? Do you reckon that... Mate, no chance. Don't give him a chance in hell, I'll be honest. Do you not think, uh, I think if he needs the first set, I said the same against Sinner. Yes, that's a great shot, and he's got two break points. Yeah, well, the JG mate, I've, curse. I've turned up. I've turned up in good time, <laughs> I tell you. It seems JG. like it's all kicking off now. I thought you were going to get your Spanish flag up. I tried to represent both here. Well, how's it yeah, working? Well, I've seen you've gone for both, so I've just left a, a neutral clay core. Looks like I'm uh, blending in with the other background. Yeah, it's true. All right, I'll stick with the uh, with both of them. So, yeah. Djok Djokovic under the cosh. Here we go. Good serve. He's forcing it into the Carino Buster's forehand. Gone down the line into the back end. He's just dug that out. It's good, good save there with the slice. Oh, and it's into the net. And Djokovic broken Ooh. in the first set. Really good defence there, wasn't it, by Buster? He was under pressure with that big forehand from Djokovic, but uh, stayed calm, got, the, got it back over the net, and Djokovic made a bit of an uncharacteristic mistake there. Yeah, definitely. Uh, yeah, I've seen Jackie saying that these uh, conditions, Rafa said, would be tough on the players physically. And I think, well, you're seeing it from Dominic team. obviously felt the brunt of uh, a whole US Open and trying to play on these in these conditions. And uh, yeah, he can get it over the line against Schwartzman. But that was a tall order. Mate, the but, thing is, it's so cold. That's what Nadal was saying. It's not like football. No, in he football, was playing... when you're playing, you're always running. You know, in tennis, there's a lot of time when you're like, a lot of changeovers where you're sitting down um, or waiting for the other player to serve. You know, how long in between points, there's a lot of waiting around, and there's a yeah, there's Do a lot reckon... of opportunity there to get like super cold, and it can't be good for your body to be obviously exerting a lot of energy at one moment, and the next minute you're just sitting around. Well, that's why I think that players have been tactically using medical timeouts during this. I think it didn't work earlier on. Uh, who was it who was playing 
Oh, uh, Sophia Kenin earlier. What's Djokovic doing there? Did you see that? He's just smashing yeah. his arm. <laughs> I know, mate. I know. that He's been uh, rubbing his arm a little bit. So it's mate, I don't want to see Djokovic start rubbing his shoulder in a minute, complaining the about neck, that injury. The old neck. Oh, the neck, <laughs> isn't it? Not the shoulder. The neck. <laughs> What? Uh, yeah, who really seems to hurt when he's when he's losing. You never know. He might be using it as a tactical medical timeout coming at some point, so that he can let Buster cool off if he starts getting too hot. Oh, good serve and Djokovic into the bottom of the net with the return. Mate, Buster's his bogey player. I can't believe right, it. Isn't it? Yeah. Isn't it amazing how um, a lot of players are playing each other now? who have recently been upset by us. So you've got, obviously, in Hamburg, Rublev, who beat Sittipas. You've got Buster, who recently beat uh, Djokovic. And then you've got <laughs> Schwartzman tomorrow, and Nadal, who's recently beat Nadal. Yeah, exactly. There's a, there's a lot right. of room for revenge. So far, one out of three. Sittipas got his revenge earlier today. Uh, whether, well, let's see if whether Djokovic can do the same. Doesn't yeah. look great at the moment, but with Djokovic, uh, well, anything's Bassman. possible. He knows he's got to take this first set, Buster. And especially if Djokovic, same as we said with Sinner yesterday, if you're not if they're not playing their top of their game and then you get break points, you've got to take them. Oh, and he's he's playing very well here though, Buster. Yeah. Really defensive and, and Yeah, what's that big plaster on his neck though? I'm only just really seeing it fully in shot. On whose neck? Buster's time. neck? No, on uh, Djokovic. He's got a big old plaster all the way down his neck. I swear I just saw that anyway. Don't know if I'm seeing things. I don't know. See if, we get, see, if, see if we get a close up. It's on the right hand side. I think it's one of them sports strips, is it not? For oh, the muscles. Maybe, maybe it is. Yeah, maybe yeah. it's. I uh, don't think it's a plaster. That's just my technical <laughs> technical tennis term. But, <laughs> plaster. Yeah, he must have cut himself shaving. <laughs> <laughs> Jocko's gone down the line. We're going cross-court backhands now. Buster's going down the line with it. Oh, Djokovic is starting to feel it out a little bit now, getting Buster on the run. Oh, and it's wide, and it's 15.30. Here we go, yeah, he's threatening now. Pick your poison, isn't it? You want to break Djokovic. He's, all these big players, they don't like being broken. It makes them get a little bit angry, doesn't it? Mate, it looked a bit of a snore fest before I arrived. It was, a little bit. I was saying that you missed the game to love in the first game again, though. <laughs> Mate, I don't think I've had one. We got one yesterday, did we? <laughs> no, exactly. There's two in the first two games, and then I think it was. Well, Rafa probably had one in the in the latter stages when oh, yeah, my he must have. was there. He was uh, acting like a robot at that stage. Mate, I don't know what was going on. I'm just hoping we don't have a repeat of, of uh, yesterday where. You start the stream by yourself and I end it by myself. <laughs> I know, I'm hoping because we're earlier on in the evening. That was a, like a ridiculous time, wasn't it, last night? Like nearly 1am that we were going on till. And uh, yeah, hopefully at this time yesterday it was fine. So I'm hoping that it's going to continue through. Otherwise, I'm going to have some stern words with BT. So yeah, with 30 all here. All right, Claude, oh, one back. Djokovic in the net. What's that about? That's not, this is not like the, uh, well, this is what we were seeing yesterday. It's a similar sort of thing with Rafa. If if Sinner had exposed and had been yeah, hitting it to Rafa's weak side where he's been making the errors, then Sinner would have had maybe that first set, I think. And in this case, Buster is exposing Djokovic's weakness at the moment. I think it's just refreshing to see Djokovic a bit under pressure in terms of his... I don't feel like I've seen it for a long time. Well, certainly not in the French Open. He's been blitzing everyone, just like Nadal has. Uh, Nadal faced Sinner the other night, and it was a bit more of a, a challenge, saying that he will still won for, in three sets. Yeah. Uh, but today, it looks like we're going to see similar uh, to yesterday. The drop shots aren't working today. That's the second one into the net from Djokovic. And we want to see better from him. Um, the, so far, that's... Not good from Djokovic, and we haven't really seen any. So we've seen one winner that looked pretty good, but other than that, it's looked pretty average and hitting it into the net far too often. And with that, we've got some French fans in the house. Mackenzie, bonjour. Hey, hey, bonjour. Ça va? <laughs> I was gonna say, I was thinking of another <laughs> phrase. <laughs> yeah, exactly. All I know is sacre bleu. <laughs> ou ou habitu. <laughs> Here we go. Djokovic serving 2-4. He's fired it out to the Carino Buster backhand. On Buster's hit an amazing winner there. Ooh. Looking on form here, Buster. Mate, Buster's got a point to prove. 
Bust I think you bust. can hear us. All this 3 0 Djokovic talk has uh, yeah. got him rolled out. Come on. And one and, thing we don't realize, yeah, before obviously Djokovic got defaulted, he was up a break in that, in that set. He, he was, was serving out for the first set. And this is what I was saying earlier when before but you. But we joined. never know what really would have happened in that match. Well, it's what I was saying before and what I was said to you, even uh, when we haven't been on here. I said, look at his body of work going through the tournament. He's only dropped a set to. Batista Agut, who Djokovic yeah. st struggles against yeah. as well, to be honest. And other than that, he's wiped the floor with everybody. And then really look, how he, look how he went out of the US Open. It was a, exactly. a bit of a squeaky bum time kind of thing, wasn't it? Yeah, it was, in terms of, it was two sets up against against Sparev and then kind of just gave it away with like a weak mentality. But it just shows that he is playing at a high level. He's the big angry. fear is if he shows any signs of weakness against Djokovic, it doesn't matter if he's two sets up five love, he will end up losing this match. Yeah, you've got to have the mentals at the side of the game all together. And it's got to be all together for about three hours, four hours, five hours. And Michael's back in the chat there. Nice to see you, my, well, Michael. I was going to say mate and Michael at the same time. Mate and Michael. <laughs> <laughs> nice I thought you were trying to say Mike. No, nice to see you, Michael. That's uh, good to have Michael in here. I always like his, uh, he's got some good comments. Uh, I don't have a side of yet. I've got one down here, which is a lethal one, which I went and got earlier, which is... Okay, uh, is it? Is it the K side? No, no. Uh, it's uh, Henry Weston. Uh, it's 8.2, this one. Percent. I'll crack oh, that one out later. If, uh, <laughs> if Djokovic... Uh, if, we, if we see another uh, Djokovic outburst, I might drop get that out. Or maybe uh, if you send us a super chat, I'll get, I'll crack it open. <laughs> Mate, I'm on the San Miguel's tonight. Oh yeah, nice. What's that Spanish Spanish beer? I think so. And maybe maybe not. Michael says Stefano Pulos could win the tournament. I'm guessing you're meaning Stefano Sitabas, but yeah, he, well we've said it. He's the one. Who Mate, we've we've been under a lot of criticism. I know yesterday everyone was saying how they feel Rublev is going to be beaten, yeah. set a pass. No, when you went yesterday, a lot of people were saying they fancy Rublev. They think exactly. he'll be a tougher test for jo tougher test for Djokovic. But um, you don't sleep on set a pass, man. We we've, we've been titling a lot of our podcasts with him in the title because we really do think he can be considered as like the fourth best in this tournament. Um, well, this is what I said before you came on. I said that. Despite what everyone was saying after that Hamburg final, me and you, we both uh, said Sitapas was the one who was our favourite to win it. And, uh, well, the, that match. But he, we, he's the one that we think stands a good chance of competing against Djokovic and potentially Nadal or Schwartzman in the final. And thank you, Michael. Look at that. He wants the Henry Westons coming out. <laughs> he wants it. to see you drunk, Ben. Mate, as soon you as... You said it, as... so you've got to crack it open now. Mate, I'm going to have to. I've already got a beer of Moretti at the moment, so maybe I'll just finish this one and it's coming straight out, mate. I'll even get it open for you, waiting. But no, thank you, mate. That's very kind of you. Yeah, indeed. Jackie says, there's something about Sitipas. I'm not sure what it is, but she finds it annoying. What? I don't know. He's got a very unique personality, isn't it? Like, if you look at his uh, interviews after the match, I don't know if it comes across slightly arrogant. It's just a bit eccentric, really. I quite I mean, like it, to be honest. Mate, but I think it's a bit love. I think, hate. He's, I think he's quite a nice guy, to be honest. I, I, I used to think I that. I wouldn't say arrogant, but I can understand. Like, he seems a bit eccentric. Do you know? Do you know what I mean? Yeah, I know what you mean. I'm trying to find where the bottle opener went, mate. I don't know where it went. Excuse Lost your teeth. It. Oh mate, no! I did that too many times in my youth. I don't want to lose a <laughs> lose a tooth or something on it. That's not going to go too well. I'd be asking for ten, like a hundred super chats for some dentist bills or something. Then Sean uh, says play. he seems juvenile to me. He is very. It's twenty one. Very young, but he is <laughs> no twenty two. I believe yeah. twenty two. But still. Well, I told you, one of my friends, he was out in Monaco before the uh, US Open and he was actually hanging out with Sitapas and he said that he's a super nice guy. He's really interested in uh, cameras and filming yeah, and yeah. doing that type of thing. So He does a lot of vlogs, I believe. Yeah, exactly. So he said he's a really great, he's a really nice guy. So I am I'm, I'm trust what my friend says. So oh, What a drop shot there by Djokovic and a brilliant response. And he's won the point there, Buster. Fair play. 
ridiculous endeavour there to get to the net. It looked like it was a lost cause. He managed just to flick it over. And uh, one... Djokovic was shocked, I think, that it come over. He's, he's, he ran yeah. a bit late and couldn't quite get there. Oh, well, it was a great shot. I mean, it was a great shot by Djokovic and a great shot by uh, Buster as well. Yeah, yeah. And what Jackie was saying about Sittipas, calling him a mummy's boy, I'm not quite sure about that, but he's certainly <laughs> a daddy's boy. That, yeah, his dad don't... goes everywhere with him. He's got the Sittipas mask on. That's a bit cringe. I'm sorry. I don't care what it is. It might be a bit of a PR stunt, but... Do you reckon his dad was... Used to Imagine your dad the... watching you in the state in the watching you play tennis with a picture of yourself on his mask. I know it was a little bit much, but it's just merch, isn't it? He's just yeah. promoting the merch. Yeah, it's oh. not even his merch, it's just another company. So with that yeah. regard, I quite like it because it's supporting a, a young uh entrepreneur who makes masks. I know well, she makes I... masks for a lot of different yeah. players now. She's had a lot of success since the yeah. Plus ones. Yeah, it looked cool. Yeah, uh, I, I think well, I think Jude well, I was gonna say, do you think that his dad is a little bit of living in your son's. Oh, massive! I don't know, mate. but like he just wanted, thats what he would have wanted to be. He just wants to be there every step of the way to enjoy the whole journey with him. He wants to be a part of it. And Djokovic here, thirty all. This could be the chance he needs to get back in this set. He's gone down the line. Buster's got there. He's gone into the middle this time. A bit of safe, but probably wise. It's a long rally. This one. Who's going to go for it? Djokovic goes into the backhand side. It's a tactical battle right now. I feel shot. like this is only going to suit Djokovic. <gasps> he's played it back to Djokovic. Oh, oh and and he missed away. it. What a terrible shot by Buster, though. He's got away, he's got out of that one big time. That was the, that was a big mistake. That's a that's yeah. an error by Djokovic. That was a real let off for Buster. He had it was actually a very point. bad uh, drop shot. All, yeah. all he had to do there, Buster, was go down the line. Yeah, anywhere down the line doesn't matter what power. Djokovic is not getting there. And uh, he just opted to go straight back to Djokovic. I think it caught him off guard. Yeah. Maybe you can say it worked. <laughs> this one's I think for, it's a bit uh, fortunate. This one's for you, Michael. Cheers. And for you, Henry Weston. <laughs> Here we go. It's wide there from Crenio Buster. And we're at juice. And... Here's the first little sign. Oh, Jackie's worried uh, about Djokovic grimacing. Uh, don't be too worried. We've seen it before. Sometimes he grimaces when he's losing. <laughs> I, I, I see that. Well, you, you, everybody has it, don't they? If you're losing, your aches and your pains, they become so much worse. But when you're winning, they you tend to forget about them. That's a great one. He seems Djokovic. okay to me, Djokovic. I don't see no yeah. issues there. I'm not buying no injury or nothing. That does look like a plaster, though, on his yeah, neck. Yeah, I can see what you're. I can see what you're saying. <laughs> it doesn't look like a uh, one of those normal strips. It looks like a bandage or something. Yeah, it does. It's like he's been mummified. Here we go. Advantage, Djokovic. Served into Djokovic backhand. It's a good return. Now he's about three meters behind the baseline returning. And they're going forehand for forehand cross court. Djokovic goes backhand cross court. And again, it's into the buster forehand. Oh, Djokovic digs it out. He's gone into the buster backhand. God, these rallies go on forever. There we go. Backhand to backhand. Brilliant point in this one. Yeah, it's a long one. It's going backhand cross court. Buster's gone for a really hard shot there and it's forced the error from Djokovic. Oh, well played. Really well played. I thought the longer that rally was going on, it was only going to favour Djokovic. Uh, but Buster dug deep again. He's surprising me a lot this match already. I know it's early doors. It's only, what, 4-3 in the first set? We've He's got, surprising um, me. Uh, Avic uh, there saying, do you think that Djokovic will break the record of Federer for the most uh, weeks at number one? Uh, I think so. I think it's highly... I'm not popular. sure how it works. I think uh, it looks like he's almost there, right? Yeah. I think I... I uh, and Michael's saying, why is it such a big record? Yeah, I kind of agree. I don't think it matters it's, too much. It's, it's more of, of a pride thing more than anything. I think it's just another bragging rights, isn't it? <laughs> That's all it is. For me, I, I don't know. I feel like the big one is the Grand Slams. If you have the most Grand Slams, that ultimately is the biggest indicator, in my opinion. 
Oh, what a shot from Djokovic. Oh, oh that's exceptional. That is exceptional. It's on the he back guessed, foot massively. He second guessed Cranio Buster's shot and then he hit it back from what seemed like a half volley. Mate, from does anyone post- read the game as well as Novak Djokovic? Look how close that was to his feet, that ball. Mate, and to get a, still- get a winner there, I'm sorry. Oh. It's just, that's not human. You don't see any players do that. You're just lucky to get it. Yeah, and Michael's right. No one ever talked about it when it was Connors, Lendl, uh, and the older guys, the older generation. It wasn't a thing. It's just there's too many. I feel like it's Djokovic fans. It's mainly Djokovic fans. (laughs) They're sort of clutching at straws because they don't. They're trying to get something over Federer or or Nadal. I don't think they're going to need too many straws to clutch soon, though. To be fair, I think if he continues, not if Nadal. If Nadal wins this French Open, yeah, that's another one away from Djokovic. Yeah, but what's that make him that on three hurt. behind both, doesn't it? Three behind oh, both. That's it, it double faulted and Djokovic oh. right back in there. Four all, first set. The pressure got to him. I think Djokovic really showed that he was his retrieval skills in that last game. Buster wasn't able to hit the winners that he's been hitting in the previous games. Yeah, no, Djokovic deserved that. He's looking very red in the face, though. He today. does look very red. And he just uh, held his face a towel there for a bit longer than usual. Yeah. And maybe maybe there is something not quite right with Djokovic. I was thinking maybe he's uh, a bit too hot wearing all of this under, like uh, underarm gear, or not, is it underarm or under, yeah, underarm? Yeah, underarm. Maybe it's maybe it isn't that. It doesn't look as windy there to, today. Yeah, I know what you mean. It doesn't actually. Like, it, looked, it looked a lot windier yesterday in the Rafa match. How many times have you uh, been out and you put taken worn a coat on a day on a day out and then just realised oh no why did I do that and you're absolutely baking for the whole yeah, day. Mate, you can the easily road. just stop and take it off. <laughs> you, you, gonna say much. <laughs> yeah, well, you might do. No, you're allowed to do that. Look how many times they change their rackets. Back, yeah, exactly. Backhand to backhand and Buster a long unforced error there. <laughs> This is poor for Buster now. He's just, he doesn't have to, he needs to stay in this and be competitive, I feel, in this service game, just to show Djokovic he's there. Otherwise, yeah. I, th- I feel like he's going to get broken and end up losing this first set. And then, yeah, we've got a new person there, Mr. SRA13, saying uh, for me, the three of them should be remembered, be remembered as the goats. Such fine margins and so many factors. It's so true. Like because yep. all of them have such different uh, like assets to their game, and they you, it's so hard to pick one. Like Mate, they're pick- all goats in their own right, and I think the whole goat debate is just one of these things where no one's ever going to agree on it. Um, yeah. and that's just the way it's always going to be, I guess. It's like for trying me, to look- the way the way I would look at the who the goat debate is is I'm going to look at a, from a statistical <laughs> perspective and just look at grand slams, but then other people can look at other things. Like you can say Nadal's only won most of his grand slams on clay courts. So does that make him the goat if he's won it only on one surface? Yeah, but he, he has the highest win percentage out of all of them. Yeah, you can find a way to sort of manipulate the data to make it fit your narrative. Yeah. Um, yeah, I think it's just who you prefer. Djokovic has the most Masters records. Does that come into it? So I mean, like, where do you Was start? Another double fault. Yeah. yeah, so they've both hit two double forts so far. Yeah, it's... and Djokovic looks very angry with that one. Yeah, I'm not surprised. Shaking his head there. It's not like him to be just dishing out double forts, is it? Wild Live makes a really good point. Thanks for that. Apparently, the broadcast has showed that it's only it's 15.5 degrees, so it's not actually too cold. It's been a lot colder and windier during the tournament so far. <laughs> Sort of fits yeah, with what we were saying. It looks look too bad, the, the conditions. Yeah, that's what I mean. And I think he's like overcompensated for freezing conditions wearing all of this stuff. Yeah, I think but, you've got a good point. Like, you don't really see him all this wrapped up, do you? And this is why. And and it was weird because there was even like, I don't know if you saw Bublik when he was playing. He was wearing like these Under Armour trousers as well as the top as well. It was like a whole tracksuit he was playing in. Bit bizarre. <laughs> Not seen that from any other players playing. At least wear shorts. Come on. Well, this Man is a up. big moment here. Corona Busters, <laughs> he's got himself right back in this. 30 all, and he's going to be facing a second serve. For no Djokovic. more double faults. Come on. We can't be having more double faults. There's two each already. He's taking his time. So here we go. Djokovic serving 30 all. Oh, they're going playing it down the middle. Who wants Very to safe. play first? Oh, 
super powerful hit there from Djokovic. They're going backhand to backhand now. Djokovic forced it very, very much Ooh. there, and it worked. Fair play. It yeah, it was very good. Very clever there from Novak. Yeah, yeah. He just gave he sort of lured bit. him into a sense of security that he was going to be playing it very safe. And then he just put a little bit more on that one and just caught the back of the, well, not the back of the line, just a bit deeper on the baseline. Yeah, and, it's uh, quite... Boston didn't have enough time. It's very clever to do that. It's a clever shot. This is an interesting one from Michael as well. What if we had two majors on clay? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> don't don't think about this, do we? But if we did... Well, I think Rafa... if we did, then Rafa would be the undisputed <laughs> guy, would, would have... you not think? 24 grand slams probably on clay <laughs> alone so yeah it's a very good point where's the grass one where's if we had more grass court tournaments would we not if we had a masters on grass as well would there be more masters for federer or well, mate why is there two uh majors on hard courts hmm i feel like there should be one major on each surface but then it's what... tricky isn't it because what do you do with the fourth one unless you have what... carpet do you have a major on carpet? <laughs> nah, come on. Astro, <laughs> Astro turf or something. Concrete. <laughs> Got, <laughs> concrete. Or, uh, Why? Yeah, I say, what, what is it that denotes the fact that where the Grand Slams are played, though? That's what I wanted to... Uh, that's what I'm interested in. Obviously... I feel like it's just history, mate. It's just always been yeah. that way and they just don't change it. Well, yeah, but why, why not introduce another one? What, and have five? Yeah, why not? Would that not? Would people not be excited about that? Great yeah. job! Oh, Ooh. great shot! Good shot! By he made the... it, didn't he? Break yeah. point, Corona Buster. Djokovic did his first good drop shot there. It wasn't that oh, good, God. mate. He lost the point oh. from it. I know, but it was a very good drop shot. But Buster was quick. He yeah, he read it actually. It. Yeah, I know what you mean. It did look like a. It looked like he played it okay. Buster was just so fast there. Here we go. The I think he read it on. before. He read the drop shot before Djokovic played it. You saw him already started sprinting. Oof, that's a strong one, that. <laughs> How is it? Oof. God, I'm oh, already Michael, making... what have you I'm done, already... mate? You've just ruined the podcast. <laughs> <I'm> already... <laughs> You've <laughs> killed Ben. <laughs> already knocking the microphone over. <laughs> one sip. Just take some sips of that, Ben. Yeah, and have a nice glass of water next to you. Oh, mate, I've got a whole, I've got a, I've got a whole bottle. <laughs> Here we go. Oh, down the line. Buster's attacking the net. Oh, it's long Ooh. with the volley, though. Ooh. Tricky shot, them ones. You need a Schwartzman there, mate. Schwartzman digs them out. Yeah, yeah. One of the best sure. players I've ever seen when he's below the net. So good, isn't it? It's like he takes, absorbs all of the he power. He absorbs everything off the ball and it just trickles over the net. It's just oh, it's a remarkable He does it see. with so much spin as well. I feel though. like it does help him being shorter. With shots See? like that, do you not think? See? This is what I was saying to you. Maybe it's oh, obviously there are common. some pros, but the the big yeah. a lot of the time it's not a benefit to be smaller playing tennis. Here we go. Michael's gonna feed us a little bit of uh knowledge. The reason is because there there used to be three majors on grass until the 1970s. Then most grass courts were converted to hard courts in the 70s and 80s. So it's an yeah. interesting little stat. I might have to fact fact check you, Michael. Uh, but I'm going to trust yeah, I didn't you know that. now. Yeah. I bet the groundsmen were disappointed. <laughs> oh, what a shot, Buster! Yeah, Djokovic is just smashing his legs with a the racket there. Really, really frustrated. But Buster, that was incredible. He gave him the eyes and played it the yeah. same way. Djokovic, you know how bendy he can get? Somehow managed to get the ball back. <laughs> how bendy is he? Mate, he's he very bendy. He looks almost as red as he's his He's elastic, shorts. mate. He's an elastic band, Djokovic. What's going on with him at the moment? He doesn't look... He looks... Is it just because it's cold, do you reckon? You get a bit rosy cheeks, but he looks very... It's not that cold, though. That's the thing. I know, but he looks very Maybe he's hot. been hanging around with Zverev and he's not well. <laughs> I've been partying in the clubs again. <laughs> <laughs> They've just come back from the Adria tour. They went for a last mm. little hoorah. There we go. It's break point buster right now. They're on Djokovic. That's long from Djokovic. And it's a break. Yeah, and he breaks. 5 4. So Corino Buster's going to be serving for the first set. 43 minutes on the clock. Wow. And the number go. one is under pressure here. And that's again. the third, third break of serve we've had in this set. 
what is this noise that they have in between <laughs> every uh, set? I've noticed that every time that they uh, go to sit down, it goes. <sighs> oh, that's the, a... that's the advert. Is it what, what what drink are they advertising? Is it like uh, ice cores or cores? Bud, Bud calls light or whatever. I think. It's not him, not Henry Weston's. I guarantee that. <laughs> you have not seen the advert. It's like, <sighs> uh, yeah, that's what oh, I mean. But that's all I hear in my ear every time that they're chained <laughs> in. <sighs> it's a bit funny. Wait, where are you watching it? You're not watching it in the same place as me. Yeah, yeah, I am. Oh right, I don't hear that. Do you not hear it? Oh, my sound's quite low to be fair, and I've got oh, you mate. coming out of both ears, so you sort of no, drown it all I've, out. I've, I've got it all on the same thing, so I've got the full volume of the match and uh, you, so it works better that way for me. But I know that if you're using the work computer, they've disabled all of those sites, man. <laughs> so you can't get on it. So, yeah, it just is what it is. Michaels reckons it's ITV advertising. Yeah, it probably is. Is some oh, kind of advertising. And Ola Bimpir says, is Buster the new stan for Jocker? Could well be. Right, if he wins oh, this, yeah. definitely. But yeah. it's a long way to go, yeah. <laughs> and watch out lines, people, says Wildlife. This is the same similar score, wasn't it, from the uh, US Open? Yeah, yeah right. now it's the yeah. time. <laughs> <laughs> wasn't it 6-5 in the other yeah, one? I think though, it was 6-5, yeah, but it's yeah. still serving up for the first set. That's very true. Let's see what happens. The lion guard, the lion judges are all petrified right now. Yeah, you know, Djokovic comes into the net. Buster tries to pass. Easy volley for Djokovic. Love fifteen, and his cheeks have gone down a little bit in colour there. We'll be monitoring. Watch? Yeah, we'll be. Yeah, we'll be monitoring the colour of his cheeks throughout this match. Oh, well, hopefully you're looking at the right cheeks, mate. <laughs> Looks like he's had a little bit of a uh, rouge, hasn't he? It's like Moulin Rouge, isn't that in Paris? Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Here we go. Serves it out to the Djokovic backhand. I reckon Djokovic has got to be more aggressive here. He's gone with the slice, though. And Buster's gone with the power. They're going cross court into Djokovic's backhand. He's playing it pretty safe down the middle. He loves down the middle, doesn't he, Djokovic? And he's gone with the drop shot. And it's a poor one. Again. Yeah, yeah. He plays so many now, Djokovic. He looks exhausted. I don't know what's going on with him. His hands on his knees. What's going on? Is Djokovic... Mm, maybe. Yeah, yeah. I've seen this before, though. It's like deja vu, Ben. This whole... Even you saying all of this, it's deja vu. How many times yeah. have we seen this? He looks completely out of it, dead Why on his he... feet. He could be down 4-0 in the second <laughs> set, yeah? And then he's going to end up winning it 6-4, then the next set 6-2, and then he'll finish off the last one, I don't know, in a flurry of like 6-1 or something. Like, let's just, let's just keep our feet on the ground for this one. He always well, looks down and out and then just remarkably just rises from the dead and beats everyone. The one-two punch there from Carreño Buster. He's just uh, dished out a little bit of a well, punishment there for a poor return. Yeah, and Wild Live just echoed some of the things I was saying there. Just watch. Djokovic is going to win this set. Mm, and 30-15 so up. I wouldn't be so sure. Um, oh yeah, you wouldn't think so, but it's just, just Novak Djokovic. There you go. Mate. There's a great serve, and you got two set points. That's what I mean. Buster's serving well, mate. So don't. Uh, all he needs is one more good serve, but it's always nervy. What's the odds that he misses the first serve on this serve? We all know that set points. It's forty fifteen Wimbledon. You're not watching it with Roger Federer, Djokovic. Exactly. That was a match it's, point as well. It's a big difference. Yeah, but and... First serves, we always notice they always tend to miss the first serves on these set points. Yeah, yeah. So it needs to, let's does. see if he can get it. Dominic team would 100 percent miss his first serve. Got it. And in. he got it in. And it's a great shot down the line. Yeah, well, when you're played, first set. Takes the first well. set. Well, yeah, wow, remarkable. Ripa. Brilliant. 48 <laughs> minutes, six four, Corona Buster. Not many people predicted that. Um, I don't know. What's going to happen next? Is Djokovic oh. going to rebound from this? Because he doesn't look great at the moment. Well, is he going to take that under armour off? That's Mr. Sarah makes a brilliant point. If you watch the final in the Australian Open, beginning of the year, Djokovic's team, Djokovic looked completely out of that one. And then what happened there? He just turned it around and ended up winning in ridiculous fashion. Yeah, but it's just the way he looks... Like in his face, 
I don't know if I, that's a fair thing to say or not, but I just feel like he facially looks fatigued and like, uh, like, like, we saw team and how he was very, very tired against Schwartzman. He looks a little bit like that. Yeah, yeah. We're only in the first set, which is a bit bizarre. I think Granted, this, credit credit to Buster. Buster's he's played, he's well. played really well, mate. No, he's, been, he's played a pretty thoughtless match so far. No, he's playing. He's playing the same tennis he's been playing for the whole tournament. And don't sleep. It's surprising on Buster didn't do better against Nadal. Do you not think in Rome? Yeah. Obviously, it was Nadal's big match back, and he ended up losing that. I think it was like 6-2, 6-2. It was over in about an hour. Yeah, it was. We covered it, didn't we? Yeah, we covered it. And that was just a, a bit of a domination against Buster. You'd expect him, well, based off the way yeah. he's playing tonight, to have been a bit better. But I think against Nadal, it's probably like... they're good friends. They've known each other for a while. Yeah, uh, yeah. It looks like John oh, no. could be receiving a medical timeout oh, here. Here we go. Kind of knew it was going to happen. Yeah, what... Uh... Do you reckon it's a little bit with the Spanish players? Do you reckon it's a bit like the F1 where What's they he have... What's he saying? Turn it up. Djokovic talking to the umpire. Hang on. Let me listen. I don't know. He's just going back out on court. He was oh. just massaging the back of his, his tricep. To the umpire. I didn't catch what he said. No, I didn't hear it either. Do you reckon it's a little bit like in Spain, though, when uh, with the F1? If you've been here in a team, I like the Spanish... You've got your number one player. You stay in your place, Carino Buster. Yeah, that I know what you mean. Like, don't think, you dare uh, knock him out. I don't know. I feel like he feels a bit, uh, what's the word? In awe, I think. Not just in, like under pressure. He just feels like he's un he, like, always being scrutinised when he plays against Rafa and it makes him a bit nervous. Well, With Djokovic, really he's got more of a point to prove. Like He feels like he can express himself on court a lot more and he's certainly showing that. And uh, that was a dodgy first serve by Djokovic. And plus, he has the mental edge, doesn't he? Because now if Djokovic gets stressed, he can't even do his usual outbursts because it's going to be... Everyone's going to be zooming in to everything Djokovic does in this match. It's going to be highlighted. <coughs> and he started quite confidently. He's gone for the drop shot again into the net and... This is terrible so far. What is Djokovic? Mate, he was to? in control of that point the whole the whole way through as well. He didn't actually take a medical timeout, just to clarify, by the way. No, no, it was only it a quick rub down. Yeah, he just like had some guy come on, massage his tricep for a bit, and then he was uh yeah, back out on the court. Yeah, I know we did say it was a medical timeout, but it wasn't uh, it looked like uh -huh. it was it didn't look like his neck as well. It looked like more of his his, his uh, shoulder. It was like just the top of his arm, like up here. The lower part of your arm, like about here, yeah. <clears throat> that, that's a lot better, though. I was going to say where, where his tricep is, but I think my one's not been there for a while now, so I'm just struggling to find it. <laughs> yeah, I <laughs> don't have a tricep, that, mate. Need to get that one back again. And, mate, it, <laughs> wouldn't, be a, it wouldn't be a live stream without Mitrovic. So how are we hey. doing, mate? Good to see you. One of our loyal... He was, he was there at the beginning. He just said hello to all. Ah, thanks, Mitrovic. Or is it Slobodan? <laughs> oh, no. So Mele's is saying. Is he checking the bookmark? Ne neck, arm, <laughs> back. You know. That looked out to me. Do you think? I thought out. it was in. I thought it was in. Here we go. Serving 15 all. It's down the line. Good return. Oh, Brilliant response there. Net. Oh, and he's just got there, and it's well played, Djokovic. Oh, that's, that's ridiculous. <laughs> I feel like only Novak can do that shot. Yeah. <laughs> that's just phenomenal. How did he hit it with no power? And Bavesh saying maybe gamesmanship tactic. I don't think so, but you Look never know. Shot, Look at this shot. I know. He literally just killed the ball dead, didn't he? I've never, how can you kill a ball and then tap it over? It's yeah. like he put his racket there and took it away, just taking enough power for the ball to go over and stop it dead. That is just a ridiculous art. Oh, this guy has some serious hands. Inside out forehand winner there from Djokovic. 4-15. Yeah, I mean, uh, well, it's interesting to see some of the statistics from that first set. We had Djokovic with 16 unforced errors. Uh, against Carino Buster's nine, and then uh, eight winners to seven for Carino Buster. So yeah, yeah. 
It's the unforced errors, obviously, he needs to reduce in this second set. I still think the general consensus is uh, Djokovic is winning this in four. Well, but yeah, I think John John said the same thing as well. And you've got to trust John, mate. John knows his stuff. Does he, though? <laughs> so they've played, obviously, four times in their career in the main draw. Djokovic won the first three meetings, two of them on clay, the next one on a hard court, and then obviously lost by default in the fourth matchup. This is their fifth matchup. Yeah, I'd like to. I'd like to add as well that Djokovic so far has made eighteen unforced errors versus Buster's nine, so he's made yeah. double the amount of unforced errors so far. Yeah, exactly. And Djokovic is complaining about something for a change. I'm not sure what's going on there. It, wasn't sure. it looked like he was talking to someone in the crowd, but I don't think he was. It's always hard to, to tell with the camera angles. The camera angles are a bit yeah. different this year, aren't they? Yeah. A little bit. They like they like changing it up. I think now there's no crowd. They've got to try and keep everybody a bit more interested. I think. So Djokovic's first first serve percentage is at forty percent. He needs to increase that drastically. And Michael we saying know how powerful his first serve is. Novak won't beat Stefanos, and uh, well, playing like this, he might struggle. Here we go. Kenya Buster serving. Djokovic attacking. Let's see how aggressive he's going to be in these early games of this set. Great winner down the line from Buster. Mate, Buster can't do no wrong so far. Buster rhymes. <laughs> he's busting gonna be... uh, Djokovic's ass right now. <laughs> <laughs> Who knows? I might be busting out some rhymes later if Buster wins. <laughs> Mate, if that side hits you, you'll be doing it in about 20 minutes. I know. I need... <laughs> I need some super chats to bust out some rhymes, mate. I don't just give them for free. <laughs> but here he goes again. 30 love. Mate, this Buster guy, he's the real Buster. deal, isn't it? Carlinho Buster. Yeah, I just want to say a big thank you to everyone joining us today. We've got a lot of the people from yesterday and a few additionals. I think it's over That's 60 it. people. If you're new to the channel, please help oh, us no. out and just hit that subscribe uh, channel. Uh, <laughs> get that subscribe button it's because you started talking I thought you was talking you were saying something no alright you go for it mate <laughs> yeah just hit, make sure you like the video as well it really helps us out yeah you know we love watching it with you guys so just share it with everybody you know who loves tennis and they can come and join in watching these amazing matches with us and catch our podcast as well here we go Buster 3015 Oh, let Premier Service. I feel like it could be a long match tonight, Ben. I think it could be as well, mate. I don't know if I've got enough uh, liquor from the shop earlier. Crenio It'd Buster be quite cool, though. Match. I'd like to see a, a long match. Or like a Schwartzman team long? I don't know. Or... Not quite that. That was just... <laughs> That was long in every every side of every, like in every element in terms of like the rallies were so long they get matches went on for so long just everything was, was just taking forever. That was like two players who didn't want to win it at some points. No, no, no but, uh, mate, credit. It was for me. That's still the match of the tournament so far. Oh, just for the sure. level in that was just incredible. Like, what was I calling it though? I was the way they was hitting the ball was just <laughs> out of this world. Both of them. It was, but when you got to the business side of every set, it was like neither of them knew how to get it over the line. And I was, I think, rightly calling it the battle of the bottle. <laughs> yeah. yeah. Oh, Buster was close to missing that forehand, but he's a winner. Was a, yeah, he didn't leave much room for error there. <laughs> it, it, <laughs> he had the whole court as well. He didn't have to go that close to the line, but, mate, the win's a win. Yeah, look. Well, Mr. SRA saying, uh, Isna Mahut, if you remember. Yeah, but that's his, that's not in mate, this Imagine tournament. us doing a live watch-along for <laughs> Isna Mahut. If we were doing a podcast then, <laughs> we had days. a live watch-along for it. Three I don't feel like we could give up either. We'd have to just roll with it. Uh, mate, imagine. I, I don't, don't know. We wouldn't be talking about the tennis. I think maybe like eight hours in, we'd just be talking about, I don't know, just random talk about the news or something because you can't keep focus on that match when it went on that long. It was a long one, wasn't it? Djokovic serving one all. He's gone for the drop shot and Karenia busted. He's wise to it. 
Must Ooh. be practicing these his sprints in training. Uh, and Sean's being a bit of a comedian in the chat. Saying at least Djokovic made it to the second set this time. <laughs> it did. <laughs> and that you can see all of the line judges of uh well Yeah, I'm not seeing that line judge. Where is she? I don't know. She's got probably got a mask on. It would be hard to pick her out. There we go. They're going backhand to backhand. Djokovic fires it into the uh Buster forehand. Oh, Buster with a good recovery there with a the slice, and Djokovic fires it inside out. Yeah, yeah. Winner. Good shot. <laughs> and now uh, <laughs> Michael is I think he's on the Sitter Pass bandwagon. Uh he's joined us with the bandwagon of Sitter Pass and we we've been singing his praises. Maybe he's been listening to us too much. He thinks winning the tournament. Wait, I keep calling him to win the tour like win tournaments, and this I'm... is the one tournament I've not called him to win it, and he's uh oh. ended up doing better than all the rest all the others. I yeah, would that actually... was I was just wide by Djokovic. I would it's under pressure again here, fifteen thirty. I would love it if City Pass won the tournament, though. I think it would be so refreshing for tennis. Yeah, I'd have to agree. Even though my picks, Djokovic, I was. The reason, the reason I would like it is not because of that. I think it would be, it would just set up the next era of tennis quite excitingly for the fact that you've got Dominic Team who's just won one. If yeah. City Pass just won, wins one, that means yeah. them two are then going to become, I feel, uh, bigger rivals than what they are right now. And yeah, I think it'll make sure. it a bit more interesting rather than just the big three all the time. Great winner there by Carino Buster, and he's got two break points here against Novak Djokovic. Mate, Buster's killing it at the moment. And there's Josh. Thanks for the nice comment, mate. Uh, we're making, uh, well, much needed during the work day. Uh, <laughs> yeah, well, we'll keep making these, mate. There's going to be, just to let everybody know, me and uh, JG, we've both booked half days off of work for the next two days so that we can bring you the semi-finals of the women's and the men's. And we're going to be bringing you both finals on the weekend as well, on the Saturday and the yeah, si Sunday. On Sunday, we're going to be tennis out. I don't want to ever watch a tennis match again. I'm going to need a liver replacement by Sunday night, probably. <laughs> <laughs> Hopefully not. Hopefully then we'll not. be signing up for Alco Alcoholics Anonymous by the morning. Monday no, no. morning, he'll be up there. But I think I'm going to have a well-deserved holiday next week. That's what I'm guaranteed. One break point Ooh. saved from Novak Djokovic. He fired it into the Buster forehand and Buster was on the run. And, yeah, that was miles wide, that forehand from uh, Buster, outside the tram lines. Yeah, he went for a, the spectacular. I think the shot there was a lob. Do you know what I mean? One of them little flick lobs. What you do. Yeah, yeah. Serves it into Buster's backhand. Djokovic fires it into the forehand, and he's got a slice oh, to a do nice with. Return, though. Yeah. Djokovic, oh, he's done a great volley into the he's corner. Out. looked out. It did, be, but that's definitely out from Buster. You tried to pass. Mate, Djokovic. are they not going to call that? that looked, Djokovic's oh, mate, shot nah, looked out. That was, that was on the line, mate. Are definitely you watching the same the game line. as me, Ben? It looked. Definitely it looked. The line. How small is the screen you're watching it on? Mate, it's a, it's a computer screen. I'd love to see that again. What, full screen? Yeah, full screen. It looked out. Mm, mate, for me, it looked on the line. like. I think thought, Djokovic yeah, thought it was out as well. He stopped. Nah, I think it was back edge of the line, mate. It must have been because Buster, you'd think, would argue it. You'd he think he wouldn't go. He wouldn't go without saying anything. Here we go. Great serve by Djokovic and those break points. Yeah, long gone. Thing of and the past now, mate. Advantage Djokovic, and I think these type of things can be mentally draining for the oppositions of Djokovic if he allows them into games and then takes those break points away. It's got to be a bit demoralizing, especially if you find yourself at the end of the set losing the set and you knew yeah. you had like 10 break points. Yeah, I agree. How many break points did he... Yeah, it was in the Masters he won, wasn't it? He was facing so many break points throughout the whole of that Masters, but he still won it. Yeah, yeah. So he's never oh, out. He's never, you can never rule him out. He doesn't look as rosy cheek now. So no, but I'd have to agree that I know what you're saying. Buster needs to capitalise on these opportunities. Otherwise, he's going to just do exactly what Kasper Ruud did, where he had all these opportunities to take the first set. Kranovic is exactly the same as well. And, uh, well, Djokovic then hit a bit of form and they couldn't get anywhere near it. So 
You need to take these opportunities oh, while they present themselves. Great serve by Djokovic and Buster on the stretch just hammered it into the floor. And uh, I've got Michael asking if I'm going to Blackpool on my summer holiday. <laughs> no, I'm not going to Blackpool on my summer holiday. Uh, I don't think there's much sun in Blackpool right now. Have you ever now. been to Blackpool? I don't think I have, to be honest. Actually, I'm at, no, I, I was going to say I thought I might have been once. No, I would have known if I'd have been to Blackpool. I haven't been to Blackpool. Oh, and Buster, what was that? He swung at nothing. No, nah, it, <laughs> it clipped the top of the net. I think it deceived him a bit. But anyway, Djokovic holds 2-1. Yeah. Uh, J and we got Thomas Rowley makes it into the chat. And uh, JG, it sounds like you have argued a few line calls in your time. <laughs> I do not doubt that. I swear. He, he's a very passionate guy on the court. He gives it the come on when there's a... No, I don't, Ben. Yeah, Give come over, on. I don't. Come on. We know what you're like. <laughs> yeah, I, I am passionate for sure. But I don't know. I just call it, mate. A lot of the time when you play tennis, at the level I play... You give the players the benefit of the doubt. If they're saying it's out, you just go with the call. Tell us about the last match you had. Which one? The one that you uh, told me about. You you got called up and you had to go and meet uh, that guy to go and play him. What, the drug dealer guy? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if I even told you about that, mate, the yeah, other day. You did, yeah. I'm that's scared just in case he's watching it. I'm scared of it. <laughs> I was there. It was late at night. The lights weren't on. I was just like proper, like bum licking him. Do you know what I mean? Like being all nice to him. I was, I was scared of him. What was he like? Six foot five tattoos. Um... No, he weren't. To be fair, he was a bit of a nutter. To be fair, I was asking him, "Ask oh, so what, what are you doing tomorrow? Like, um, you got, you got, you what time you get to go up for work and stuff?" Because he was asking me about my job, and he was just saying, "No, I work for myself." And you could just see him on his phone. Like, <laughs> I don't want to judge him, but he did look very suspect. He was drink, drinking a full fat Coke halfway through the, the ah, match. That's late in Hewitt no style, well. isn't it? Zero, he's no the, water. It's gone the late in Hewitt way, mate. That's what he used to do. And he uh, he threw his racket on four occasions. One of them wow. just missing me, just missing my <laughs> knee by about it's been watching, five centimetres. He's been watching now Bandian. <laughs> mate, I was just scared for my life. I couldn't wait to get off the court. At one, at one stage, I was... Uh, I was thinking about just forfeiting. Did you did you uh, win the match? Yeah, I won. I won it in two sets. I think it was ah, uh, easy. Six four, easy. six four, six three. Did you shake your hand at the end, or is it just a racket? Corona, touch? mate. We don't do the don't, no shake of hands. Was there a racket touch? There was a racket touch. Yeah. Does he want a rematch, mate? I I won't be giving him one. It was just a fearful moment in my life. I didn't enjoy it at all. <laughs> 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 you never know who you're meeting to play in these leagues. Nah, anyway. it, was, it, was, it was quite nice and the whole thing. Like afterwards, because it's a bit of a rough area, he gave me one of his spare rackets because I had mine in, in the bag. And it was like, if anyone comes, he was like telling me about how he... he... What do you mean if <laughs> anyone gonna, I'm gonna, comes? What's I'm not going to repeat. Yeah, I'm not going to repeat <laughs> what he was saying. It was a very uh, weird situation I was put into. If anyone comes, what, yeah. like other people to play tennis? He was a bit paranoid, to put it that way, about uh, certain individuals. Uh Sounds dodgy, mate. It anyway, was certainly dodgy. Let's go back to the tennis. Uh, we got 15 all here on uh, Carino Buster's serve. There's always sirens playing out in Paris, and Buster's tried Ooh. to pass him and missed the pass in 15:30. Mate, it's just a uh, it's just complete pendulum it's swing now, small isn't it? Small window now of opportunity. Small window. <laughs> so from them two break points, which which Buster had. It's not looking so good right now. Sean's saying game interrupted. What's that about? I don't think it's interrupted. It's just I game interrupted by us. <laughs> what, what is your game interrupted? Maybe, I'm not sure. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> anyway, right, serves out. They're going backhand. Djokovic runs around the backhand. He's gone forehand from his backhand side. Now he's gone on to the backhand. Busters, they're playing it fairly safe down the middle over that low point of the net. Djokovic, big looper. Oh, now they're going forehand. Oh, this it's a long rally this one. Needs they always this. hit the net cord. Buster comes into the net. Can Djokovic pass him? It's good enough. It's into yeah, the net by Buster. And there you go. Two break Two points. Break points. Novak Djokovic.
Yeah, it was a poor shot, really. Got, a little bit of luck there with the net cord, didn't he? Yeah, but it kind of set up a good opportunity, I felt, for Buster. I think the drop shot was the one there. Do you not think? A little yeah. delicate shot just over the net. I know. Wow, well, Sean said he got a notification. It's always good in hindsight, though, isn't it? <laughs> I think that was probably happening in between the games. He just might have got a late notification, mate. Yeah, I think he was receiving a bit of a rub down. I don't think right. he's a... Uh... Rub down? <laughs> rub oh, down. he saved one there, Buster. It's not Big a, forehand not like, there. Not like the sinner rub and tug from last night's match. <laughs> <laughs> So, second break point coming up. Here we go. Second break point. Novak Djokovic, can he take it? Good serve by Buster into the forehand side. Djokovic goes cross court. They're going cross court forehands, fires it into the backhand side. Now they're going backhand cross court into the forehand side now, forehand down the line. Forehand to backhand. Oh, now they're going down the middle. The long clay court rallies. A great shot by Djokovic, and it's too good Ooh. for Kalenio Buster. No, that breaks. Djokovic. Mate, that's hard to take, isn't it? This could have been a completely different second set if you took them break point opportunities, and now it's oh, just been sure. turned on his head. And uh, I think you'd favour now Novak to take this set and give him yeah, some, give him a lot of a lot of confidence which he was craving ah oh. you don't want to give him an inch you now he's 3-1 what are your uh, well remember it's always a staple of the channel it's not a break unless you consolidate yeah but i think yeah. it is with novak <laughs> no, it's never a break. I think it's until different. You... That, that, rule, it's... that rule different. It doesn't apply to Djokovic. It does apply to everybody. <laughs> it's not a break until you can. It doesn't really it. apply to him. It applies to everybody. Because he's likely to... He could get broken back here, but then he'll just break back again, and then he'll hold that next one. Well, well let's see. Because otherwise they're back on serve. So he's got to consolidate it. That looked long from Pequeno Buster there. Oh, he's dug that out somehow, Novak. And now Krinibus has gone inside out forehand. Now they're going backhand to backhand. Djokovic with a really nasty slice there. It's got a good length on it. Oh, same again. Still, still going backhand to backhand. Who's going to take the leap? Djokovic has gone drop shot. It's a good one. He's opened up the court for an easy winner. Yeah. Well played. Looking a lot better now, isn't he? Yeah, that rosy cheeks. Rosy cheeks are gone. And yeah, and I think I missed that little flick you're talking about there, Jackie. I'm not sure which one you're talking about. And I agree but with Novak's Melez. certainly looking a lot better. I agree with Melez. And you should listen to him or her. Tell rules us. are rules. Rules are rules, JG. It's not a break. <laughs> Djokovic firing it in. And what a return from Carino Buster. Down the line, 15 all. He's not been giving himself much leeway, has he, for these winners? They're just no. about creeping in. Like He's got so much court to go into. He's leaving it. He's he leaving knows. it to find margins. Well, you got to with Novak Djokovic. Oh, he's come on. Anywhere there, Novak's not going to get it. I don't care. Yeah, but are. he's probably thinking in his mind, every shot Novak's going to get to. So he's got to hit yeah. the lines. Probably subconscious, isn't it? Yeah, it's the same thing. Why a lot of people who played Andy Murray would beat themselves because they know he gets around the court so well. Oh, and Djokovic misses a volley there. Why? Yeah, it was a big uh, overhead smash. It wasn't another? It was a really bad one again. He's done that a few times in this match where his overhead smashes they've gone central, straight back to the opposition, yep. and it's given them a, like a bit of a hope really that they're back yep. in the rally. So this is net points one. Djokovic, that's his first net point he's lost. Yeah, uh, Buster's lost three on one one. He's only been wow. to the net four times, Buster. Good serve by Novak Djokovic. Ace. Doesn't like want to Like I said, see... how many times do I say it? Novak will always pull out an ace when he really I'm needs sure one. I it was an ace, though. I think he might have got a slight racket on it. But still, mm. as good as. For me, that's an ace. Yeah, well, it's not an ace if he touches it. <sighs> Did he touch it? I think he touched it a little bit. It will show up on the stats <laughs> if he didn't. Yeah, to be fair, they would usually come up with the ace count. Exactly, they? right. It's exactly. I hope they come do on. it now. We've been watching this long enough to know how it works. A good serve again and two great serves. And he's 40-30. And what all those talks about the non-consolidation, 
looks like now it's we're all talking about consolidation. He's bouncing it a thousand times, as always. And uh, great serve again. This goes into the back. Oh, it's into the net from Djokovic. And now we've got a juice. Jeez. Something I wanted to ask you about the juice in the French Open. Go on, I've heard it uh, a couple of umpires doing things different ways. They obviously, there's some umpires say egalité, which is the word for juice. Oh, I'm in guessing. the French Open? Yeah, in, in French Open, they say egalité, okay. which is juice yeah. in French. And some of them say calenta, which is 40 all. I think it's so, just, mate, it's just different they, ways of saying it. It doesn't that? really matter, does it? It matters to me. <laughs> Consistency in the game matters you, you to me. Listen, you pick up on the weirdest of details. Like That does not matter. It's that the same bugs thing. Me. I need if to I say, hear it. In tennis, you see 40 all, you say juice. It's the same thing, isn't it? It's just the way, the way it's been said. And we're just what's missing a big Italian? opportunity. Give us the Italian one. Uh, what's it? Quaranta pari. Quaranta pari. And what, so they just do 40 all? Yeah, I think. I think there is a word for juice probably, but uh, that's the one I predominantly know. I yeah, he just, he just wasted that break point opportunity. Djokovic with a massive forehand down the Sorry. line. I overtook that break point there with my uh, terrible juice <laughs> dilemma. <laughs> I don't know why it bothers you at all. It does bother me. I don't know why either. <laughs> Do I speak French? Which, do you have a preference? Which no. one would you prefer? What I prefer the actual word for it, not 40 all. In we otherwise we'll say 40 all in all of the languages, in all of the courts. We'll just say 40 all. I think the priority is getting the decision right. That's for me. That's the that's my big gripe with this tournament. Well, There's been a lot of decisions which are questionable. And I think Shapovalov uh, can vouch for that. And he consolidates. As we have said, 4-1 is a consolidation. And that is what it looks like when you consolidate the break, when you're serving first. 4-1, it always looks a bit nasty, doesn't it, when you're one break up on that type of uh, service. It can always look different depending on who's serving first in the set. Now, this is a big word. I'm not even sure what it means, but it sounds a bit like you. Belligerent, Belligerent Ben. Yeah. <laughs> I like Sean's it. Sean's bringing out all the vocab tonight. I know. I need a dictionary for that one. Don't Dictionary think he's What's had... it mean? I don't think he's had enough beers. Do you know what it means? Uh, I'm, I was going to say it means something uh, derogatory towards me, but I'm just going to get hostile and aggressive. Yeah, that's what I mean. Hostile and aggressive. I, I've, just, I've, I've just gone... <laughs> I, 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 I've... Wait, Thomas Rowley's in the chat. What do you think about that? I think that's a good nickname for uh, Ben. Belligerent Ben. There you go. One second. Just while we're in the uh, in the break. Here we go. I'm just going to share this with you. So, as you can see, Belligerent gets these pictures shared with it. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Spitting image, mate. I know. Well, anyway, we'll come off that and I'll go back to the actual scores. But uh, yeah, for anyone who's just listening, it's just a picture of guys just angrily holding their fists. You do, de so. you do definitely get angry as 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 these podcasts progress. It progress. It's you that angers me more than anything. <laughs> Stop disagreeing. <laughs> so anyway, oh, what a shot! Oh. Smashed away by Buster. Djokovic here is two games away from the set. Don't forget. Oh, I always end up rhyming stuff. Yeah, it looks like we're going to be getting four sets. That's, that's a certainty. Um, the question is, is it going to be four or five? I don't know. You mentioned Thomas I think Rowley it all in the chat. How, um, yeah, yeah. With a consolidation. He's lurking. Ah, <laughs> oh, and... Djokovic is making it easy for him in this game. What's going on? These poor drop shots. Uh, I think he needs another massage. <laughs> Jackie said that she's half French. Oh, what was your question? I, I think know. you had a French question, was, did you? No, it was a Spanish. It was a Italian, Italian, wasn't it? Italian. I know it's Egil. Was it Egilite? Egilite. That's just from challenges. Oh, like what a winner there from Crinio Buster to make it down the line, to make it 40 love. 
Mate, where was this earlier when he needed it? <laughs> exactly. I know. Well, you never know. He might just start turning it on now. The pressure's off. We got <laughs> Tom Rowley, BB and JG. <laughs> I think you should change it then. Change your name on there to BB. I'll shoot you with a BB gun if you keep on going on. <laughs> <laughs> See, look, you're literally living up to the name. I'm getting violent now. I mean, I won't do that. So that was a game to love. Well spotted, oh, it was a game Sean. to love. Anyway, cheers, Ben. I blame Michael for super chatting this Henry Weston, to be honest. That's all that's, that's, all that's happened. I super chatted a Henry Weston, and it's just caused me all pro- sorts of problems. Uh, so, Jackie, what he was asking is, how do you say uh, juice in French? And we know there's a lot of different varieties the in the way you say it. Uh, ben was just a bit annoyed that they say it multiple different <laughs> ways in the French <laughs> Open because he's a bit of a creep. But <laughs> what? what? How's that a creep? I don't just know, get it's it a bit right. Of a weird, just say it, just say it's it a weird right. Thing. It's not a weird thing. It's just a just get it right. It's it is right, mate. It's the for same me, word. It, it's it's as it's as annoying as if they didn't say. I don't know. Imagine if in Italian instead of saying "colin cipali." Or whatever they say, they said the wrong number. No, that's Quindi, what it, Quindi Cipari is fifteen. Yeah, exactly. Imagine if they said 40, sixteen. 40 yeah, imagine if they said sixteen. That's how much it annoys me. Nessepa. Yeah, anyway, <laughs> but yeah, wildlife uh, love picking up on your thing from the Rafa match. <laughs> sure, if maybe Djokovic needs some early relief. Yeah, where's Yelena? Helena. The who? Yelena, isn't it? Yelena. Oh, I thought he just his was, wife was he, Yannick Yelena Sinner. Wasn't get, I don't Djokovic. think Yannick Sinner was getting that from uh, anybody so so nice. Here we go. They're serving at well, he's serving at four two. They're not serving. Going forehand for forehand. Djokovic is putting a bit more uh, length on his shots right now, forcing it quite deep, and it's a miss hit from Buster. Thirty love. Yeah, this second set looks done and dusted for me. Does it? Um, I would say so. It's on to the you, third now. Where do you see the match going from here? I don't know. I feel. I still think um, Buster's in it. I wouldn't say that Djokovic is going to walk away with it. I think it's going to be really interesting to see how he starts the third. Oh, if, he's have... presented, if he's presented <laughs> with the same uh, break, break point opportunities that which he was in the second, you never Central. know. Maybe he can take him this time. And... Central game to love here, mate. This is big stuff, as everybody know. knows. Djokovic serving 40 love. Oh, it was close to an ace as well. But Henry Weston was just sat there looking at me. Good serve. Good return. Could be a game to love too. And there it is. Novak yeah. Djokovic, game to love. Cheers, Ben. Psh. Need to have like a clink noise don't we or something like that or some sort of sound effects that can be played when there's every game to love for my liking yeah we should work on that i don't yeah, know how I we think... can do it but we should get a little um maybe we can get a little what's it called do you know how we do the intro and outro yeah, yeah. we could get a little two second thing where i'll just play it when we, for every game to love <laughs> i like that yes with like a Let's picture see. of our faces just like dancing around Oh, all right. Now we've now it's become expensive. <laughs> no, now we've got, to get, we've got animators involved now. Yeah, if we've got any animators in the chat who would like to make that for us, <laughs> feel free. <Yeah. laughs> for sure. So what's the winner? The winners and unforced error count, both 18 winners. Unforced errors, Djokovic has made 23 and Buster only 12. Yeah. Pretty but... impressive, isn't it? Yeah, but the scoreline tells a different story. That's though. what it's I mean. Five, it's two just, up in the second set, and it's not them really, errors don't really mean much if you're losing five two. If you look at the second set stats, oh, I'm just having a quick look through at the moment. You look at the, they're quite even, really. I mean, yeah. I don't see that. I don't. The only that's thing what I'm that saying. I that's why I think this third set's going to be really difficult to sort one, of uh, predict. Obviously, the second set's not over. I'm just assuming Djokovic is going to get well, this one, wrapped up now. The one thing I see that's different is Djokovic has more unforced errors and he's winning and they have the same amount of winners but 
Djokovic has saved all of the break points he's had against him. And that's where that's where it really matters, really. That's where the business side of the set is. And it's a love 15, Karenio Busta. Yeah, apparently Melez is saying we need a consolidation sound as well. Yeah, we definitely do need a we could, consolidation. We, could, we can work on it. We're still early stages of these live watch-alongs. They're only going to get better. So please join us on this journey. And if you've not already, subscribe to the channel because we're going to have a lot more of these. <laughs> How do you want it sounding, though? Maybe you guys can uh, tell us how you want it to sound. Do you want it to sound like more uh, computer game style? Or would you want it more just game to love style intro theme? Yeah, we should have a, <laughs> we should have a foul to consolidate uh, sound. Like a eh, eh, eh. What's, the, what's the noise, guys? What? You mean like off of a, like a game show when they fail? Yeah, it goes. Oh, it goes and, and, <laughs> drop shot of it has <laughs> just arrived. Has anybody seen? There's a drop shot. It's an amazing drop shot from Djokovic there. And it's not Hugo Gaston. No, nah, look at that one. And that's a sign Crenio Buster's starting to not predict. What Mate, Djokovic like I said, do. Djokovic looked dead early in the first set, and now all of a sudden he's come back to life. It's like. The I, don't, in- I don't ever buy these injuries. It doesn't make sense. You can't be like injured on the verge of death and then the next minute winning points. We've seen it with Burton oh, as well this time. wide from Gareño Busta and we have three set points here for Mate, Novak another, Djokovic. It's another um, game to love as well, potentially. It's going to be potentially a game to love. Da, 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 da. Oh, Vanch wants a foul to consolidate like the window sound. What? Which one? <laughs> the windows. So not the windows. And there's a start. winner. Novak Djokovic takes the second set. And even though he's got rosy cheeks and bloodshot eyes, it's no match for Carino Buster. I mean, not anymore. He looks well. Anyway, cheers. Ah. We've got a game to love. We need like a chink sound for that. Like chink. No, I think we need to have a whole graphic. Just get rid of us. Get rid anyway. of us. Yeah, like just have like the graphic come up, the whole thing. But anyway, we'll talk about this after the podcast. Let's you focus always, on this third set. You could always play the uh, the outro theme briefly. Nah, but that's a little we bit. Need to, too... Let's have a let's have a special. We'll do something good yeah. for it. <laughs> we will create something, won't we? Yeah, yeah. I know. Don't Wild worry. Live says Djokovic is going to run away with this now. I'm going to yeah. have my work cut out for me now. But it's good. You've given me something to create, which I love. Jackie, why does Novak do that? I wish I knew, mate. I wish I knew. Um, I don't know. Maybe it's tactics. Is it that the opponent then feels like it's sort of like tactics in terms of like he one minute he just lowers the level and he increases it? I'm not sure. It's hard to say. The guy on his arm now, though. It's like what's this like little jerk in the arm up and down? That's what's that doing? Well, clearly he's got some kind of discomfort. Yeah, uh, but is it or is it just a mind bad. game thing? Is it just like a get out clause? Who knows? We'll never know. <laughs> Wildlife, yeah, he is. Jocker is a what master. Is the, the that's though? like that's what boxers do if they're in the ring and they're giving it a little bit of the rope a dope where they're pretending that they're uh, on the ropes and they're oh, oh, right. they're, and they're, then they suddenly come back and bang there yeah, you go yeah yeah that's a, that's a really good analogy to explain what Djokovic does just like just when Carreño Buster thinks I'm not, he's I'm there, not that against it though mate it's part of the game no, I think mate. that's just, if he does it and he wins from it uh just I'm all uh, for it yeah credit for him more for it it's all tactics at the end of the day. You've got to be mentally strong and you've got to be physically strong. And you've got to have the best strategy. You've got to have the best tactics. You've got to win a Grand Slam is a difficult thing. And you've got to have everything going for you. Here we go. Third set. One all. Whoa. And that first whoa. serve is very dodgy. Well, let's see which Novak Djokovic turns up for the third set. He's looking pretty good in that second. Yeah, I hope Buster's it. head doesn't go down too much now. He needs to stay in it. He should be convinced with the, the way he's, he's still in it. Well. He's still in it. He lost a set against uh, Batista Agut. I remember that. Obviously, the big one for me is the Shapovalov one, wasn't it? Where in the in the fourth set, I think Shapovalov beat him. Maybe was it that like six one or something? 
And um, yeah, Buster looked completely out of it. He looked like he was going to be going out. No one really gave him much chance of the fifth set and he just sprung back from nowhere and ended up winning that match. Oh, it's a great winner there from Djokovic down the line. Incredible stuff. But yeah, Jackie, they're saying, no, 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 I don't agree. And uh, is that with our Roper Dope uh, agreeing? Like that it's okay to uh, I think maybe. Just, I think she's just talking about Djokovic in general, like his attitude. Ah, oh, what? Well, well, it's one of those things. It's a he's a sort of a Marmite type type player. You either love him or hate him, but you can never deny how his greatness. And that's Ooh, the brilliant winner there, Buster. 15.30, another opportunity. And I feel like uh, he needs to step up the gear now. Well, Busters, he had to... Maybe he just took the rest of that uh, set off because he knew that Djokovic is... He's going to have to pace himself over the five sets. Backhand winners, five apiece. Oh, it was a close one down the tee there, that serve from Novak Djokovic. <laughs> Jack is talking about our rope dope stuff. She doesn't like it when people are playing. Some people might call it Ooh, play, what shot playing the possum. Well played, Djokovic. <clears throat> He's so good at the net. That's the thing. It's just, uh, yeah, no, unplayable. That It can work against you, though. Like the playing possum or the rope dope tactics as well, because at one point, you could just be, you could affect your own mental side of the game, I think. I don't, I don't think some players have to keep that intensity for the whole match. And just playing mind games, you're sort of playing a game with yourself by taking yourself out of the zone and trying to put yourself back into the zone again. If Djokovic is probably one of the best players who's able to actually do that, though. You can take yourself out of that and get back into world number one standard of playing straight away. Then if you've got that ability, then why not exploit it? <clears throat> this has been a really encouraging start to, this, to the third set for Buster. Yeah, this is a big point right now, and it's a long one. And they're going all over the court here. Djokovic is deciding, deciding to go down the middle with his returns right now. Who's going to crack first? Djokovic going slightly harder. Great drop shot by Buster. Oh, well played. How many people? How many times do you see people do that against Djokovic? That exactly. is so. That's showing how much confidence he has right well, now. That was an incredible drop shot. He's way behind the baseline there as well. He's got no right to pull that shot off, and it was well, executed yeah. perfectly. <clears throat> Something had to give on that rally. They were going at it pretty hard, and we've got our first break point. And what oh. was that? 36 shots at rally. Mm -hmm. Phenomenal. Our first break point. Of the third of set. This, of the third set. That was the uh, thing I was looking to say. <laughs> it's, it's not of the match. <laughs> oh, dear. Here we go. Great serve by Djokovic. That it's just hit the baseline. Well? Yeah, I know. Hard second serve. He's opened up the court, and there's that trademark yeah. Djokovic forehand. Short, sweet. See you later, Buster. Back at juice. Yeah, Look he couldn't that. be much there. Just a perfectly executed point by Djokovic. It's always interesting to see when they pan above the courts, isn't it? Just to see. Because it always the court looks so much smaller when you're looking at it from the angle that they give you on TV, and it's always nice to see. Because sometimes the drop shots look incredible and like they're just over the net, and then you look at it on the replay, and they're actually about three meters of past the net, but they're still a good drop shot sometimes. But yeah, yeah it's yeah. interesting on the camera angles. Here we Here go. go. He's still in with a chance here, though. Yeah, for sure. Second serve. They're into the rally, backhand to backhand. Djokovic has run round it, and he's missed the forehand oh, down the line. Yeah, yeah. He's questioning it. No, it's definitely on... out. Certainly out. Plaster on his neck's peeling off a bit. 
could do with a new plaster. What's that? Is that oh, is that Djokovic? I don't know. Or someone in the crowd. No, it was Djokovic. Are you sure? It looked like him, yeah. I don't know. I heard it, but I didn't know if it was, <laughs> it was him. Loud, it sounded, mate. Sounded I don't know my sound, and I heard that. Was it? Was it his dad Just screaming? <laughs> <laughs> Federer is not the goat. <laughs> <laughs> my son's the greatest of all time. Ah, uh, Djokovic. He's really going for it, and oh. now it's Karina Buster shouting. <laughs> he's annoyed now. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah, it is Djokovic shouting. I don't yeah, know who he's shouting is. at the crowd. Who's he shouting at in the crowd? I think it's just his yeah. coaches. He's just trying to hype himself up. <laughs> Sounds a little bit like uh, Sylvester Stallone. Adrian! God, he's really angry, isn't he? Yeah, really angry. He's making his cheeks even redder. It set Buster off a bit. He even cried yeah. out. <laughs> <laughs> when one gets going... <laughs> It's contagious. It's screaming. It's, don't say the word contagious in these times. Well, it's better to catch a, a scream than corona, mate. Well, you never know. Zverev's been lurking around those gyms, mate. You don't know. No, he was negative, wasn't he? But I don't know how much I trust these tests. Here we go. They're going cross court, backhand to backhand. Slice now. Slice Ooh. a great approach shot from Djokovic and a great volley by Djokovic. Yeah, exceptional, man. Exceptional. That's high level, man. Like, not many players can produce that shot. Novak just did there. Yeah, that was really good. Brilliant approach shot. And then this second shot here is just wow, out of this world. And uh, Vance has made a good comment there. Since last year, Novak's improved his volleys at the net significantly. Yeah. Keep in mind, but Becker stopped coaching him. In yeah, it's nothing to do with uh, Becker, really. And here we go. Djokovic is trying to win this game now. And Krinja Buster's gone too hard on that. And a big shout from Novak Djokovic. Come on! And he takes that first game of the third set. And that was a big game. Really, <laughs> It was a nine-minute game, that one. Wow. We saw some uh, long ma uh, long games in the match earlier as well. I think there were some yeah. seven and eight minute games in that match. Well, not quite but, as long as um, what was it, Schwartzman team? Some 15. of them were fifteen minutes. No one wanted to go for it a lot of the time in those rallies, though, and they were sort of trading down the middle. And I don't know, is that a good match when you have players who are just willing to just see who breaks first? Yeah, so look Is at that the what second you want? set statistics. You've got 49 points in total, 29-1 by Djokovic, 20 by Buster. And purely African saying the way he's playing, in no way he's going to beat Rafa. <laughs> don't know if that's the voice, but uh, that's the voice I'm giving it. <laughs> <laughs> and there we go, love 15 Djokovic. Looks like a man in form now right. since he screamed. It's never good when you lose one of those long juices, is it? It just mentally just def like fatigues. Mate, players. how many times have we seen this though? Sean said it perfectly. He faces all these break points and then he comes back and wins the match and just demoralizes the opposition. He hasn't altogether. won the match yet. All right. I'm not saying that. I'm just saying this is this is Relax. I've seen this whole narrative so many times. How many oh. times have you seen Djokovic battling against all these break points? He looks like he's under so much pressure, and then all of a sudden. He just goes on this massive tear and you can hardly get a point off of it. Oh, yeah, exactly. I think a lot of that is to do with the fact that he just completely demoralises the opposition. They've had so many opportunities. They feel so hard done by it. But you've got, well, you've, got to, you've got to do better. You've got to win these points. <laughs> oh, what a drop shot that is. And a great retrieval there by Karina Buster, but a great shot by Djokovic. And he's there for the smash, but it's a weak one. He's still at the net. They're playing it pitter patter. Djokovic finishes yeah. it off. He could have done better there, Buster. He actually was given an opportunity. He was. I think was it was that, that third or fourth one at the net. He smash. could have. Look, this smash was terrible. He could have just done something with that more than that. Yeah. Or even this one, I feel. That one was mm. poor. You could have you could have done something with that, I feel. Could have definitely done something with it. But this is what Djokovic makes you second guess yourself, makes you not know which shot to play. And it's another net point. Djokovic has won, which Buster hasn't. Oh, yeah, exactly. 
Djokovic has been pretty formidable at the net so far in this match, which is pretty impressive. I mean, if we have a look at his net points, one, 12 out of 17 so far. Oh, a net cord there that went back in his own court, which is not what he wanted to see. Yeah, it looked like it just popped over there. <laughs> yeah. Bit of luck for Buster. Needed yeah. that. Needs a little bit, doesn't he? Everyone needs a little bit of luck against these big guns. Oh, a big serve there by Buster. He's going for a big winner there oh, afterwards. Well played. Yeah, needed that. I'm really impressed with Buster, though. He looks a lot better than what I remember him playing, like in the past. I think he's developed a lot these last, these last few years. I never realised Buster was this good. Is that me being harsh? Like, I just didn't realise. Really? I'm, I was pretty... I knew that Djokovic was going to be uh, in he's for He surprised a game. me a lot this year. I'll put it that way. I did I, I, not, yeah, I did that's not what I mean. think he was this good. He's number 18 in the world now. you got to remain, put some respect on his name. What a lob by Djokovic. He's gone for the tweener. It's back in court. And Djokovic with an incredible winner, Ooh. which Buster is challenging. Well, he can't challenge. No, literally. Djokovic got that point, I believe. Yeah. I think it was right on the corner. What a lob. Mate, what a point that is. It was actually a really good tweener effort. Managed well, to get it deep a... on the court, and then somehow. But what a winner Djok after that! He's yeah. like, you, you want a tweener? He had no right. He had no right to win that point. It's like you want a tweener against me. Good luck. Yeah, that's one of the shots of the match so far. And here we go. We're at juice again. This looks like quite a uh, big start to this third set. Missed the first serve. Never good. How are you in your side, JG? What you got on there? drink side oh i'm just going through the san miguel's mate i've not got oh, many yeah, so on. oh fair play here we go they're playing it down the middle Djokovic inside out forehand now he's gone turn to the backhand they're going cross court it's into the net oh no and now we've got the yeah. break point the dreaded <sighs> break point for him, isn't it dreaded break point against novak Djokovic. you never want to be facing one of these against him or any of the big three. Can he take his chances? He looks a little bit like he's burping there. What's he doing? Like, there's something going weird. Like, what was he burping during doing I nothing? Think he's all right. He's all right. You sure? Yeah, yeah. What's going to be the headline at the end of the tournament? Djokovic wins, uh, gets tested at the end of the tournament. Djokovic wins French Open with coronavirus or something like that. <laughs> he's already had it. He's not going to get it again. You never know. Here we go. Inside that forehand to Buster. They're playing it down the middle now. They're going to forehand. Now forehand down the line by Djokovic. Oh, and they're going cross-court forehand now. Oh, that's a great shot by Djokovic. Now he's dictating this rally. What's he got? He's gone for the drop shot, and it's too good. Yeah. And the break. No, that breaks. I reckon we should have like some sort of break noise there, like... <laughs> The screen cracks or something. Mate, we don't have time to do that for all the breaks. Imagine a women's match. It would just be oh, no, non-stop. Well, we might well, never we... fix the screen, mate. It would just be broken the whole time. <laughs> I don't think we can have that for the women's matches. No, yeah, that's not... like Wild Live, we all saw this coming. Well, mate, if you'd have seen the match I was watching earlier, which was actually uh, a challenger which has been played over in Barcelona, there was Jal Munar playing against uh, someone called Barrios. Another Spanish, I think it was that Spanish or Colombian player. Yeah. They literally were exchanging breaks for two sets straight. And it was just frustrating to watch two like men's tennis players just not being able to hold their serve. Just very bizarre. And that being broken to love on some occasions, it's just so bizarre. You do see but that anyway. a lot more on the Challenger Tour. Yeah, but still, come on. But anyway, yeah, not a break yet, like Sean says, until I say consolidate. Oh, and he's thrashed wildly at that return there, Buster. What's he doing? This is like giving the set away if you're going to start playing shots like that. You can't lose your cool. You can't lose your cool against Djokovic. If you start thinking that you're going to suddenly start whacking winners against, you got to pick your moments. Yeah, I agree. 
And there again, another long return, and he's 40 love, and we're looking at a potential game to love. Mate, I'm honest, I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm right this self as well. I think Djokovic has won it. Buster's not some, he's not a resilient player, is he? I feel like Sinner's someone who's a lot more resilient than Buster. Would you not say? Mm, uh, probably. But Buster's I got the, but Buster's hundred percent got the ability to to have his head drop. Oh, he's going just thrashing wildly at shots. No, now. It's just what I'm saying. He's just his head's drop massively. He's not even trying to. He's already thinking about. Him. He's already thinking about the fourth set. Anyway, Why that's a not... game to love. So cheers. Yeah. cheers. Oh, we had the sound from the actual uh, stadium. Eh? <sighs> Maybe that's a game to love. Yeah. Wanted to say thank you for everybody. We've got about 75 people here in the uh, chat or watching this live watch along. Thanks to everybody who is watching us and uh, joining the conversation. If you're watching and you're not joining in in the comments section, jump in there because we love hearing from you. we got all our regulars in there. Join in, chat with them. But if you just like listening to us and just want to hear our play-by-play or some of our thoughts about the... I don't know uh, why you'd want to do that, but... but That's what I mean. If you haven't subscribed yet, hit the subscribe button. And if you haven't yet, like the video because it really helps us. We really need your uh, help to make this channel grow. This channel has only been going since January this year from the Australian Open. And we're going to be going for many, many years to come. And we want to be the number one live tennis channel on YouTube. So hopefully you can uh, help us get there. So, yeah, give us your support. And we're back to the match. So a little advert there, wasn't it? Uh, good timing. <laughs> Let's see what he's got. Here we go. Buster. I fear the worst. I think he's going to uh, get broken again. What, bageled maybe? If he gets bageled. Yeah. Djokovic it's... down the line. Buster into the middle. Djokovic it's... into the forehand so... I think this oh. is a breadstick, mate. Oh, he's hitting it deep and hard right now. Djokovic means business. And it's into the... It didn't even make the net, that. That's <laughs> <laughs> along the ground, that one. <laughs> mate, Come I can on. see... I'm telling you now, this set's going to finish 6-1. I'm not even going to wait until the end of the, this game for to go to the, the loo as we're writing this set off. I'm going to go now. Yeah, yeah, no worries. Yeah, while well, he's gone, let us know what you think, guys. I think uh, I don't see a way back in this set for Buster. I think he needs to have his focus now on the fourth set. Oh, that was a good shot, though, by him. 15 or. Showing a little bit of fight. Best serves in. Good return. Ooh, that's close. Djokovic opened up on that one. 30 15. So the unforced errors. Djokovic leading the way with the unforced errors, surprisingly, but it doesn't really mean too much because he's 3 0 up right now. Oh, brilliant. Well played, Buster. Maybe. He's not done yet. He's showing a little bit more fight than I anticipated. I thought maybe we could see another break here from Djokovic. But Buster's uh, shown that he's still there. It's a lot better than the previous service match from Djokovic where he just gave up. Let's see if he can hold here. Good serve out wide. Djokovic returns as he always does. Oh, and he just pulled a ridiculous backhand there, short. And Buster had no reply for that one. It's a world-class shot, that. Oh. Can't stop them ones. Good 
good first serve. Oh, ridiculous. Oh, and Djokovic has got the point. And that's not going to be good because it means it's juice. And yeah, it looks like Buster maybe won't be holding this serve after all. He did really well there to get it back because Djokovic hit a massive forehand oh. shot, but he just popped it over the net. And yeah, that's a brilliant reply from Djokovic. Little drop shot. <laughs> and we're at juice. Oh, sorry. I, I dangerously... Uh... You dangerously what? Went out and got another Henry Weston. Oh, gosh. That's all we need. I'm not going to have it, though. It's just there on just like a... Uh... No, Buster's looked a lot better, actually, in this in this map. In this oh, is it? Map game, no. yeah. However, saying that, he was still at juice. He's got the advantage now. He needs to hold, really. Yeah, and he has. 3-1. At least he's going to make more of a match of it. Well, then, at least he won a game there. That's, uh, that's, uh, the breadstick's making... still on, though. The breadstick prediction. The, <laughs> the breadstick. In baguette, I believe they call it in France. <laughs> <laughs> so, yeah. 3 1 Novak Djokovic. Djokovic serving. And, uh, yeah, he's looking pretty good in this set. Uh, if he holds here, we're back to 4 1 again. And that was the same as, obviously, the last set. Here we go. Out to the backhand. Ooh. Uh, Vanch with a valid point there. Do you reckon Kyrgios isn't playing this year because of his fear of COVID? Or is his, his excuse and just to be lazy? Uh, yeah, I mean, he just does like a relaxing time, doesn't he? <laughs> it's hard Probably. to say either way, isn't it? We don't actually know his personal circumstance. Like, COVID's changed a lot for everyone, so it'd be unfair, I think, to just call him lazy. Is it just convenient that he can attack? He can just be lazy and then just attack players for doing I'm things? not sure about all this yet. It's, he's gone overboard slightly. Like, it was fair of him to criticise the Adria tour. I saw a lot of players doing that. But um, some of the criticism I've seen from him recently is just a bit ridiculous and childish, to be honest. Yeah. And Melez, he won a uh, Did you see him no? and Hatchinoff talking on the TL? No, I didn't. Yeah, they was having a bit of an exchange as well. And Hatchinoff no. seems like such a nice... Who doesn't he have an exchange guy. with? Yeah, everyone, it seems. Did you see... Uh, I see Melez mentioning the thing from last night we pointed out when uh, Sinner's backhand overhead that landed in the bag so Rafa couldn't even <laughs> hit a shot <laughs> yeah that was a pretty crazy shot that was one of the weirdest shots of the tournament amazing shot but Rafa was clearly there in time to hit it and there was a bag in the way so yeah it's funny that Rafa still went for, to take the shot and just smashed the bag <laughs> uh, you think he would pull back nah it's Rafa come on There we go. Love 30 here on the Djokovic serve. And Mate, we I was writing it? him off. I don't know why. Don't ever write Buster's him off. Got a bit of, he's got it's at least a great life. serve. Look at that serve, though. Down the tee and into the net from Carinio I bet you he Buster. does another one of them as well. I bet he does another unreturnable serve or an ace now. Don't jinx or, him. No, he will. He's going to do that. Or or it will be 15-40 and then he'll do it again. And then he'll just do two of them to bring it to juice. <laughs> so we'll predictable see. well it is until it's not that's a good serve though like you said and then a good second shot and then a volley and Carino Buster winner cross court oh what a shot and now Come what on, were you saying what, no what I was you... saying or it could be 15-40 and they'll do it now he'll pull off two ridiculous what serves was, this is what, what he typically what does what were you saying in my ear I can't hear I'm saying this is what he typically does. <laughs> this is what he does. Well, he's going to give him the break points, then come back. Yeah, I, I don't know how it works, mate. He's just, it gives it gives you break points and he just demoralises you and takes oh, away from you. Carino Buster is back in this match. It would be nice. Here we go. Seconds. Oh, is that a let? Was that one? It was a let, I believe, yeah. Okay. Let's see yeah, if he can take these. Here we go. Oh! 
<laughs> you see what I mean, mate? He was he goes so big on these serves. <laughs> he does. I feel like this second it. serve, it, it could be either a double four or another big one. Oh, he's played it a bit more safe. Oh, is it the, the net goal? Buster's in. And he's finished it. And it's the break. Buster's the perennial <laughs> Buster. <laughs> mate, what do I know? What do <laughs> I know about Teddy? <laughs> 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 mate, Buster's back. So there you go. Crenio Busta. Mate, I didn't think that was going to happen. Fair play. I think this is a good opportunity. I need to go take. I need to go to the toilet as well. Ah, there you go, mate. You leave me in control. Don't you worry. What could go wrong? Yeah, you're all in safe hands. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> me and Henry Weston. So they're showing some stats from uh, the third set so far, and first serve percentage by set, and uh, the first serve percentage eighty one percent from Krenia Busta, forty two from Novak Djokovic there in the first set. Uh, in the first set in the third set they sound quite similar though uh if we have a look at some of the other statistics in this set as well we've got break points saved two out of three obviously now for novak Djokovic. both converted one break point well Djokovic one out of one and Carlinho Busta has uh, done one out of three, but that's all he needed to be back on serve here. He's had five winners to Djokovic's nine. They both had four unforced errors. Doesn't matter. We're back on serve in the third. This match is level. Let's see what's going to happen. As they're playing now in the nighttime of the Philip Chatelier court. Good serve from Crenio Busta. They play it down the middle. Great shot there by Crenio Busta, and he's forced it long from Djokovic. And here we go. And Carlos here, he's joined us in the comments. And he's saying, Vamos, Pablo Crenio Busta. And Wild Live saying, Wow, Busta took that. It wasn't gifted. And I agree with you totally. He is going for it. You've got to against Djokovic. You cannot sit back. Here we go. Djokovic going cross court now. Oh, and a long slice there from Carino Busta. This is really important. He's broken back, but you don't want to give... Well, yeah, like Sean's saying there, you've got to, uh, got to consolidate. Is it really a concise? Well, it's like a you break and then you got to serve. So you got to serve to consolidate your break again. So it's pretty much the same thing. It gets confusing. Here you go. He's gone the same way Djokovic is. And the good volley there from Crinio Buster. And as Carlos says, que bueno es Carlinho Busta. So what does this mean in Spanish? What is good? What's good is Carlinio Busta. I'm going to go with that's what it means. Que means what? Bueno is good. I, S is Carlinio Busta. I'm guessing that's the same. Serve out wide there. Carlinio Busta goes the same way into the Djokovic backhand. Somehow he's kept the rally alive. It's into the net from Djokovic. 40 15. And he's looking at leveling Mate. the match here. He's had a lease of life, isn't he, Buster? Yeah, here we go. Here we go. Makes for exciting viewing. And what would you say if we saw Carlenio Buster versus Stefano Sitapas in the semi final? Who are you yeah, back in there? I think that'll be that's I a really good match. I Ace think Sitapas would be the favourite. Pablo Carlenio Busta. Three games all. <laughs> Wait, that's and three games match. in a row, is it not? And the th the, yeah, and the match is literally level pegging now in yep. the third set. So there you go. Don't ever rule out Carreño Busta. And, and what do you make about the, the question you just posed a second ago? Busta or Sitter Pass? If Busta was to get through this, this match, do you think he's got a chance against Sitter Pass? Definitely has a chance against Sitter Pass. I think Sitapas is somebody who's shown mental weakness, but you never know. What a volley by Djokovic there. Wait, that's ridiculous. That is, it's like Diego Schwartzman just ran on the court and just pro <laughs> provided us with one of his volleys. Look at that. Wow. Yeah, you can't stop it. 
I'm surprised uh, Buster was running towards it. He was never yeah, getting there. No point. That's one of them. Usually, you just stand and clap. I'm surprised. I don't know where he was running to. Exactly. Melez has said consolidation, the promised land. <laughs> I agree with him. Yeah. So here we go. <laughs> They're playing it down the middle here. They've gone forehand. Djokovic turns to the backhand. Still in this middle section of the court. Service line tennis right now. They're starting to get more powerful now towards the baseline. Great shot by Djokovic wide out into the backhand. He fires the forehand winner. Yeah. And there you go. 30 love. That's the See, the standard of tennis has really picked up now in this third set. And that's yeah, what we want to see. When you saw that first it set. It dropped off just, a bit, didn't it? Yeah. Well, it dropped off, yeah, like you said, it dropped off a little bit for both players at certain points in the match. But now we're seeing both players hitting a bit of form, which is nice to see. Sean reckons it's going to be over yeah, this set. He's, he's going for a hold, break hold for Novak Djokovic, which would mean, what, 6-3 in this set. Oh, interesting. He doesn't have much faith, does he? No, he doesn't. Karina Buster's got something to say about that. After that wide Djokovic forehand there. Yeah, he's got to hold this one first. Yeah, that's it, mate. Lion Eye says this looks like a five-setter. Oh, God. I mate, don't it's know. a bit cold in here. I'm going to have to go get a jumper if it is. I'm virtually outside. Like in the... Mate, you want to get one of these. You don't need a jumper. <laughs> <laughs> you and Henry Weston will give you a hug and <laughs> keep you warm. And a poor drop shot by Djokovic, and it's 30 all now. And the Mate. errors are coming from the Djokovic racket. Did you Mate, see this coming? At free love up, you would never have thought Buster would get four games on the bounce. So I know he's only got three at the moment, but if he get, he's able to break here, that is remarkable. What a recovery. Really it's kind crazy. of unheard of, do you not think? Rarely happens. Pretty un it's pretty unheard of, especially when Djokovic gets gets going in a match. To see him suddenly drop off again is unheard of. But this is Karenio Busta on clay. Those Spaniards, got to watch them. And if you're a here. betting man, 10 to 1, Karenio Busta to win this. Really? Yeah. Ten to one. Oh, he's pulled it wide. Yeah, great point, Buster. Ten to one, mate. He's really turned this around, and we're getting a weather report in from Michael Walker. He loves his weather. <laughs> he was teaching us all about Fahrenheit and Celsius on the last podcast, and uh, it's twenty-five Celsius in New York right now. <laughs> oh, I love it. I love it's like it. when you're I driving and you get like the traffic report come through. <laughs> Traffic report, <laughs> weather report from Michael Walker. Yeah, Michael right, can have uh, his own segment on the on the podcast. Just twenty five degrees weather. Celsius. He said it's in NYC though. That's in New York City. We're not in New York City right now. We need. Uh, I think he's from New York, maybe. Yeah, we need some Paris weather report. Oh, it's long from oh, Buster. There. He had a good line there. When he hit it, I thought that was good, but it's miles nah, wide. You got to be super, super accurate against Novak Djokovic, as we know. Because even though he might look shaky right now, you can guarantee in a few games. Yeah, well, time, he was lucky that to get in a rally with Djokovic down a break point is very rare. Usually, he gets a big serve off, so uh, he sort of taken opportunity, taking the opportunity there. Uh, I think it's because Michael said it's warm in there. In the UK, it's horrible right now. It's been raining for the last week. It's all right today. Um, but yeah, it's, it's certainly got colder, hasn't it? Yeah, definitely. We've had such nice weather there. and it's all gone Pete's down on. the pan. They're going backhand to backhand. Who's got the... Uh, they're going pretty deep with these backhands. It's gone short there. And Djokovic, a perfect time for a drop shot. He's brought him into the net. He's gone for the lob. It's a great lob. He's gone for the tweener. It's long. Oh. I think Djokovic uh, coming to the net there put Buster off. He had to put a little yeah. bit more on that tweener. 
Definitely. That's the good tactic. That's it. As soon yeah, as yeah. you hit that lob, you run That's in. Clever, yeah. Force him. Yeah. Make him have to play a big tweener shot. To be fair to him, he almost pulled it off. Now, how many times do you see players actually uh, get the tweener overhead like the lob? The tweener lob is a great shot. See, that's why you should focus on trying to keep it in play. Great serve by Novak. Holds. And there you go. And then we've got Sinov there who's just jumped in and said if he wins, he gets 1K. So that's a pretty impressive. What currency is that in? No, I don't That'd think so. I think he said it's 1.05, the odds. Yeah. If he wins, he wins 1K. So I don't know how much you put on that, but... No, he just said, look at the one below. He just says, I only made 20 bucks off him. Oh. So then what? I don't understand. I'm getting confused. Sina, yeah, Senov, <laughs> tell us what happened. Let's go. He's happy somehow. <laughs> <laughs> so how much are you going to win? If he wins, 1K. Euros. So one, yeah, 1,000 euros he'll win. So He's he not must winning 1,000 have... euros. Why? Well, you'd yeah. have to put... How much would he have to put to, if it's 1.05? Maybe you have to put like 20 grand or maybe 10. So he's put 20. You're telling me he's put 20 grand on Djokovic to win. I don't know. I'm just trying to think of. Oh, uh, not only, my... no, he's got, he's done an accumulator. It's multiple games, but this is his ah, last, okay. last game. Ah, that's, well, Fair it's enough. a sensible last game. You had any accumulators on? The pesos argentinos. Well, well talk about let's talk about Argentina, Ben. What a tournament they've had. Obviously, Podoroska in the women's, Swartzman yeah. in the men's. What do you reckon? I saw on Del, Potro, Del Potro was on uh, Twitter congratulating them both. I feel like he's like the god, isn't he, of Argentinian yeah. tennis. You're and like, he was speaking speaking good of them. It must feel amazing for them. And uh, what? Argentinian fans oh, are so here we go. passionate. Djokovic, he looks like there's a signal of intent here. And what a, what a point by Novak Djokovic. Forced him out wide, both sides, and then attacked the net and a little slippery volley at the end. Just a slither of a, an angle. Mate, Sean uh, could be right here. Hold, break, hold. Is it going to happen? Yeah. Sinav, you're right. It's going to be difficult, this uh, last bit. Watching tennis is always the worst thing to be betting on because it can go either way. You never know. We had one of our friends, obviously. He did rather well on the betting front, didn't he? Yeah, yeah. He was waiting for Cam Norrie to uh, beat, uh, was it Jeremy Chardy? Yeah, last year, And he was it? to win £4,000 on that occasion. But uh, And I think... Every, he was uh, serving for the match and then went love 40 down on his own serve. And yeah, you watch, he's watching the cash out change by 500 pounds every point. <laughs> so yeah, that's scary. scary, scary times when you're in the betting world. I'm Lucky loving all win. the, I'm loving all the love for Del Potro in the chat though. Ah, I, how I, can you I, I really miss him. I agree with you, Jackie. For me, he's an icon and, how can you not miss Del Pocho? He's like the powerhouse that the tour, like the men's tour needs. Yeah, I agree. Just it's a, it's a lot. Just, it's a sadder place without him. You just that looked long that shot there by Djokovic though. I think, it was I think just it'd be it. right if they wish there was a challenge system. I think it was long. It, yeah, he's, he's not even at the line. He's not sure himself. He didn't even call the umpire over. Wow, I, I thought think that it was... did catch the back of the line. Sometimes they skip. It's hard off to say. You, you need Hawkeye of some kind, don't you? Really. And it's like, Sean it looking like his prediction's going to come in there. Yeah, for Kundu Nani, he reckons five three as well. And then we got Santiago there with No Ablem de Messi. Saludos de Argentina. Melez is going for a hold, break, and then consolidate. Oh, the so whole that break. For, that would be for Buster to take the set, right? I oh, know I wouldn't take the set. No. It would just go five four up. I think he's just saying Djokovic is going to hold, break him here, then hold again. Uh, is okay. that what he said? You can't hold if it's not your serve. 
Oh, what a shot from Djokovic there. Yeah. Under pressure now. 15.42 break points to make it 5-3. Yeah. Buster's going to have not, to pull something special out here. I'm not cracking open my other Henry Weston unless there's any super chats, though. If I do, I'm going to be in trouble otherwise. I'm going to probably require some assistance to get out of this studio. <laughs> That's wise. Yeah, let us know where you're watching from as well. Uh, if you're new in the chat and you're enjoying uh, the watch along, let us know where you're watching from. Let us know what time it is there. Right now, we're obviously in London in the UK. It's uh, nearly eight o'clock. So, yeah, it's a lot earlier than yesterday's for... last match, oh, isn't it? God, isn't it? Much better. Oh, Although it feels really late. And Novak Djokovic breaks. Five three. Looks like Sean was right, mate. He's going to be serving now for this third set. 40, 42 minutes played so far. There's the next Henry. Can Buster do it again? If you want it in the camera. <laughs> mate, it's uh, lethal. Look at it. Uh, where is it? Where does it say it there? Look, you can see. 8.2%. Mate, it's... Well, you saw the change in demeanour after the first set, I think. Yeah, maybe hold off that one for now. Yeah, maybe. We'll wait until the end of the match. Here we go. 5-3. Djokovic serving for the set. Ooh. Ooh. 15 love. Yeah, no, it was out. 15 love. <sighs> yeah, he's not going to get out of this one, is he? There's no, Surely not. He's not Houdini, <laughs> mate. <laughs> You never know, mate. If it's only two sets to one. I was shocked that he brought it back to three all. Can he get out of this one as well? Mm. He's played really well. You got to He's give him firing credit. a lot. Djokovic is forcing his hand right now. He's forcing a lot of uh, problems there. And we got Dylan in the chat. Cheers to you, mate. Nice to see you. Thanks for joining again. Oh, and Djokovic serves in a long yeah. return. Are we going to get here a game to love? Three set points. Let's get some game to love going here. Come on. Let's, to round up this third set, let's get a game to love. <laughs> hey, I hate our intro. It just winds Why me do up. you hate I've our intro? I've heard it too many times. There you go. It's oh, a nice, it's, it's a game, it's to, a love. game to love. As Cheers, you're not. Man. I'm going to open up in this one for it. It's a Cronenberg this time. Yeah, No Henry like, Weston. You shouldn't really mix that. Beer and cider, mate. It's dodgy combo. Nah, super chats only for a Henry Westons. <laughs> They're too strong, mate. I can't Ooh, take it. Oh, the Djokovic a... fans are out in force. Here they are. They're out in the paint right now. <laughs> Jackie, another beer and I won't yeah, be able Sean, to... Yeah, mate. Why didn't you put your money down? You, you called it, exactly. Yeah, should what have, are you doing? Like £10 on that. More. Stick your house on it. <laughs> and there you go. Jackie was obviously saying, I won't be able to say serving for the set <laughs> after another one. <laughs> Don't worry. Mate, I'm I think still he's chugging in now. <laughs> I'm coherent. I'm here. I'm. Don't worry. I'm controlling it. I'm running the show. Don't you worry ah, about so it. So Lion Eyes from Oslo, Norway. Nice, mate. That's pretty cool. Love that. One of my friends, uh, one of my friends who's the musician who uh, he's looking to move to Norway, the one who mixes a few of my tracks, he uh, is looking to move to Norway in the next year or two. Give oh, us cool. some... Uh, Give us some ideas of uh, where's good in Norway that you could obviously Oslo is that's the capital. Where are other places in Norway is good. Born and bred in Bermondsey though. Wow, look at that Millwall through and through. Go on, the Green Street elite there. <laughs> <laughs> are you a Millwall fan, Lino? Yeah, it's, be it's best not to answer that one. Oh, I don't. JG's going to start getting, uh, going to get rowdy. It's like a football factory in here all of a sudden. <laughs> it's 
So here we go. And then we got Maria Paz Allende who's just joining into the chat. Bravo, Caleno. It's not that bravo. He could have done a lot better. Well, come on. He's two sets to one. He still has a chance. If he wins this set, we're going to five, mate. Yeah, yeah. He's still in this for sure. And Brian he showed a lot Chet. of encouraging signs in the, yeah. in the to get that back to three all. And he started this set well. He's coming for the vo easy volley. Great yeah, play, he, Buster. He's playing well. He is playing well. You've got to be honest. <laughs> I don't think anyone would have thought it would have been still going on this match. <laughs> no way, a Millwall fan. He's a West Ham fan, mate. He's a hammer. Oh, I don't know about that. He's probably wants to have less stress in his life. If he watches tennis, it's stressful enough. Watching West Ham, that's just going to cause you even more. Yeah. Tell me about it. How can you be a Birmingham City, West Aston Villa, and West Bromwich Albion fan? All of them. They're all rivals from the same area. <laughs> Where was that born? He's got to be born in Birmingham, you think? No? Well, you say Birmingham City is the first thing he said. It's got to be Birmingham. It's got to be West Midlands, at least. It's a bit of a general area. Oh, it's a great shot there by Buster. Can he get this smash in? He has done. Are we going to have go. a game to love? Again. Another one. Another I'm one. Running, I'm running out of beer. Well, mate, you better get to the offy, mate. Get down the street. Go to the off license. No, nah, I need to crack open a new one, I think. Nip in the, the car, The thing is, I'm mate. saving them. I know we've got a lot of matches coming up next mate, few days. You can't go out. Are you quarantined? <laughs> no, I can go out tomorrow. But oh, I mean, I for yeah, I guess so. Tonight, yeah, I can just go. Oh, so you haven't got enough to get you through the rest of this match? <laughs> no, no, I do have enough. It's just oh, I need to go and walk over there. Ace. It's too cold. You did a Djokovic. <laughs> To well, what Djokovic did to him at the end of the last set, Ace. It's a game 49. to love. Cheers, We've guys. Seen a few of them recently. Ching. Cheers, Ben. Cheers. Ah, oh, I hope we're not the only ones having a beer whilst watching this. They're probably watching us, watching us deteriorate, thinking, "What is wrong with them two losers?" I hope not. I hope they're just watching. No, nah, they're loving it. As this game goes on, the commentary is becoming more animated and much more enjoyable to listen to because we're probably going to start talking about things which are not necessarily tennis-based uh, and will be more dramatic when things do happen during the match. Here we go. Djokovic serving. Oh, they're going backhand to backhand into the Crinia Buster forehand. Great top spin across court. Now they're going backhand to backhand. Wait, Buster's Carinia. so impressive. Buster's standing well in the court and he's dug that out, that drop shot. Djokovic's into the net and he couldn't handle the volley there, could yeah. he? Yeah, well played, mate. Buster, do you see how far inside the baseline he was standing there? He was like, he was refusing to go behind yeah, the baseline. Yeah, he was not getting pushed back by him. It's good tactics. See, he's changed something up. And well, that was a weird volley on the replay. When <laughs> it sort of came in and just hit him, and he just flicks it into uh, near where the I don't know. Joseph the... says, or does he just stand close to the line judge? So Djokovic unconsciously aims at the judge and gets disqualified <laughs> yet again. Unconsciously, <laughs> what? Just on purpose. What happens, Mel, if there's 10 hours of tennis on Friday? Mate, I don't know how we're going to do that. I think Friday session's going to be crazy because it's two Mate, men's think, semi-finals. Uh, what, on Friday? Yeah, I, I think, think so. Is, is, it, is it divided between the No, there's the two, two women's. Yeah, two women's Thursday and two two men's Friday, I think. Maybe that's I'm wrong. Gonna, that's going to be uh, tough. You can have a look. Ask. I'll have a look now. I'll just check. My personal opinion is... I don't think they should do it like that, though. You save, your, uh, you save your drinks for the evening session, always. So Yeah, we'll tomorrow probably... you've got the women. So you've got Swiatek Podoroska at 2 o'clock. And then you've got Kenin uh, Kvitova at 3.30. Oh, Kenin Kvitova. You've got the, the two underdogs. So we're guaranteed to have a real surprise in that women's women's final, which is great. Like, yeah, who yeah. do you fancy out of those, those ones? Podoroska. <laughs> oh, my That's God, what a point here. Oh, my God. This point was... Yeah, ridiculous. we just missed one of the best points of the match, I feel. That's a shame. 30-all. Buster won it, though. Yeah, that was ridiculous. 
but no, just to go back to the women's, obviously, Swiatek, Podoroska, I think Swiatek will be the favourite. Yeah. And, um, Do you think she'll win? I think so, yeah. I think she will I win. Think I think Podoroska's had a brilliant run, but it's going to have to come to an end. In the last match against Fitalina? Wait, it's the furthest ever a qualifier has come in a, in a French Open. Did you see of, uh, how good she was against Fitalina? Yeah, no, she was. No, it's going to be a really tight game. Obviously, both players are amazing, but did you see what Swiatek did against Halep, mate? Yeah, I know. That was 45 and minutes she finished her she, off in. She was a breakdown in the first set against uh, Trevisan as well. Yeah. And still, I think she won five games in a row, was it? Yeah, that's right. And in the second set, she won that 6-1. So <clears throat> she's in she some good the... form. Obviously, Kenyon's another one who's in brilliant form. Well, winning yeah, that, winning that today, 6-0 the second set. Sleep on, don't sleep on Sophia Kenyon. In this tournament, we've slept on her. And yep. look where it's got us. Now she's up against Petra Kvitova in that semi-final, and she's fancying her chances at a second Grand Slam in 2020. Sophia oh, Kennan, she me. could be the women's champion. Mate, did well, she for bust two Grand Slams. There. I know. Anyway, back to the men. He just did a return ace. It's out, and then Djokovic now has advantage. This is a big chance, really, for Buster. Yeah, and then Friday we've got Swartzman Nadal 145. It's being scheduled for. Wow, I love that. And match. then obviously the winner of this versus City Pass. I'm assuming. I'm surprised they're doing both. Maybe on the same afterwards. Day. It would be afterwards. I'm surprised they're doing both on the same day because should you? That's always them... like that, isn't it? I know, but I'm just. I they should do one women. Then you'll have the, the women's final Saturday and the men's final Sunday. Yeah, That's I know. It, it, makes, it makes sense, but for for us it would be better if they did women's. One women's, one men's, one women's, one men's. Yeah, yeah, but that's not fair, is it? Because uh, they're getting an extra day's rest, one of the players. I guess. Do you know what I mean? You'll have one of the women's or one yeah. of the men's who's got an extra day. So it makes sense for the tournament. Uh, How in do you theory, feel tomorrow's the... stream should be quicker because it's best of three. Friday, we could potentially have <laughs> 10 sets on a live watch along. I was going to say to you, <laughs> I know it's a bit of a controversial topic. Ah, oh, Buster's it, isn't it? How do you feel the fact that Diego Schwartzman went five and a half hours with Dominic Team and got through to the next round? And he will earn the same amount as Swiatek, who <laughs> went through in probably like an hour. Yeah, but that's just the way it goes, mate. Sometimes I know, but come on, it, like, it's when, not his fault. That that has happened, a women's is it? match ever gone to five? Has five and a half hours ever? Well, no, because it's three sets. <laughs> yeah, I know. There's but... less sets. You start, yeah. If those best, you're not going to have three sets go to over five hours. Yeah, but she's going to get paid. They get, they get paid. Exa- they get paid exactly the same these days, though. Do you think that's fair? This is very controversial. It is uh, a controversial topic. That's why I'm for me. I don't up. think it should be. I don't think they should be paid the same. Based off, I feel like it should be based on how many people watch it. So if more people watch Ooh. the women's, yeah, no, that's, I think that's what it should be because at the end of the day, not that's what work. generates the money. I think it's based upon the work. I, I don't think it's based upon. I think it's based upon the hours on court. It's based upon the amount of time you're actually playing. Uh, I think it's to do with the fact that like, however many people watch it, it's the same <clears> with boxing. If you if you have got a big pay per view fight where loads of people want to watch, what well, the, you got the men's boxers, fights they'll, they'll and make women's more fights. Ben's, yeah, Ben's fights and no men's fights and women's <laughs> fights. Yeah, they're yeah. obviously, and you got the same with female well, women's football. But women's tennis is one of those sports which is totally different to a lot of other sports, though, because you actually do get a lot more competitive matches in women's tennis than you do in men's tennis a lot of the time, especially with the big three. It's whitewash. You, do, you always know who's going to win a lot of the time. With women's tennis, you don't have a clue. So sometimes it's more exciting to watch the women's game. Yeah. No, no, it's, 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 it's a tough argument. Like it's, um, yeah, yeah. I know one that... One probably we shouldn't get into, to be honest. And a drop shot of it has now arrived again. Yeah, two break points here. Uh, it's a brilliant drop shot. He disguised it well as well. I didn't. I didn't anticipate it. Yeah, perfect. No chance of that. 
And Mello's saying, yeah, notice WTA fan <laughs> happy with Grand Slam pay. ATP players revolting. Yeah, you've got to look at another side of the uh, game, though, as well. Because even though the, they're getting paid the same in the Grand Slams, the women's game, in when you're under the ATP, like WTA side, when you go down to ITVF challenges, there's a dramatic drop. Yeah, yeah. Where the challengers, they get treated a lot better than they do on ITF women's. And uh, they get hotels paid for them. They get these type of things. And women don't get anything when they're below the a, like the WTA level. So there is a, a call for there to be a more of a combined merger on those type of things because of that. And it would benefit women in those sort of lower ranks. And here we go. Juice on a Carreño Booster serve. Don't yeah, I think what Mele game, says there is quite makes sense. It's not a good look not to have equal pay. I think it's good for the sport. Um, whether it's fair, that just comes into another yeah, yeah, debate. Sure. But I'm not against equal pay. I think it's to look. I think it's a good, uh, good thing. No, to have, I just really. thought I would pose the question to be like a devil's advocate guy because it was five and a half hours versus like an hour on court. <laughs> so it seemed like very. Yeah, that can on the men's as well. You can have someone just breeze through maybe two hours. And other well, you, I play five hours. You've seen it happen all the time. Well, you can see women can stay on court for three and a half hours on some well, of look their at matches. The Dow. Well. I don't think the Dow spent that long on court at all. No. Well, women, some women's matches that go three sets, they can be on court for over three hours, sometimes three and a half hours. So Yeah, 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 for sure. It, it, it can go a long time. And, uh, yeah, I was just playing devil's advocate. I'm not actually – I'm not – trying to throw you in the uh, in the mud to try and make you make a decision because obviously the decision's made. It's good that the women and men are earning equal pay. So, Yeah, and with this, another breakpoint opportunity for Djokovic. Yeah. He's hunting for him now. Yeah, he's playing it deep as well. He's whipped that one deep. Oh, and that's a poor backhand into the net. Yeah. He always looks back to his team like he's so shocked <laughs> what's happened. He's like, it was your, did it was, mate, you did the shot. <laughs> like, is my racket stringer up there? Did he? Did, did, it, is it that you? Like he's trying to blame someone. Like, he's like, did you do that? I don't get it. <laughs> did you say something while I was hitting that last one? You bar? Well, sorry, I was going to swear then. I'm going to try and uh, keep off the uh, swearing while we're doing these uh, live watch alongs. It's difficult. Have a few drinks. I think we are allowed to swear. To be fair, oh, we, we can, we can. I right? just, well, we don't know. There's people, it as much as there's people watching from all around the world. You got to remember, and they could be watching in America right now, and there could be some people who are younger watching this right now. So, yeah, yeah. going to try and keep it in a good. Uh, yeah, it's state. not even after nine o'clock yet, mate. You got to wait till after nine. Oh, what a shot by Djokovic. Passes Karenia Buster at the net and we're there. Advantage Djokovic. Another break points. I think he's going to take this one as well. I'm predicting it now. He seems fired <laughs> yeah. up after that one. The JG predictor is out. <laughs> Where's Sean with his predictions? Come on. Yeah, we need Sean. Sean knows what's going to happen. We haven't had your predictions in this fourth set. Come on. Jackie, stating the obvious. <laughs> Sorry, Jackie. <laughs> <laughs> it's a good idea. No, do it! What's he so shouting? Angry. He's so angry. I oh, know. Who's he looking at? I don't know. I'd hate to be on the other side of them glares, though. <laughs> Sean, he's offended when I don't curse. So <laughs> I can't win. I'm trying my best for the channel. Don't want to get us uh, demonetized. I want us to reach a broad range of tennis fan, even though for some reason I feel we're reaching one sort of range of tennis fan. <laughs> yeah, I don't think they care. What's Joseph? How to pirate actual live footage? Yeah, no, we can't show the match, unfortunately, mate. We're not allowed to. Um, but you can get it on ITV4 if you live in the UK or Eurosport, I believe, show a lot of the matches. If not, if you've got a gambling account, you can watch it on there as well. Look 
Apologies, Jackie. I think we're just behind on the comments, or I am. Here we go. We're going back and for back end. Buster's gonna have to work hard for this. That oh, the drop shot didn't work. And yeah, here he holds we go. two one. Vanch is calling for the default for some reason, even though Djokovic is winning. <laughs> I think it's because he looks so angry. Yeah, he does look very angry. What's wrong? Yeah, I think he's just self-critical, isn't he? It's just these top players, they're always um they're just the most they're most critical of themselves. Like they know how, what level they can play at. And if any if they drop down from that at any moment, they're gonna be the first to jump on their own back. So it makes yeah. a champion. Oh, well, yeah, Joseph, just to answer you in the comments. Yeah, I mean, it is free if you're over 18 and you have a gambling account like a Sky Bet, Bet365, that type of thing. <laughs> you can sign up to there and you can watch on one of those. Or you, can, if you do have, if you're from the UK, ITV4, this is if you're on Freeview, Channel 24. And uh, if you're on, if you've got Eurosport, you can watch it on there as well. So, yeah, just try and jump on if you've got one of these uh what you call it where you can pause the tv thing in jigs then you can pause smart it by TV. 10 seconds smart tv then you can pause it and then uh for 10 seconds and hit play when you're in time with us and then it will make <laughs> all much more sense <laughs> <laughs> yeah it's good to watch it you form your own opinions <laughs> on what we're saying <laughs> Bench. So uh, he's on our side. Do you want us to lose our channel, Joseph? Come on, man. Come on. Support the channel. Send those super chats in. Come on. I've still got a Henry Weston's here, which is unopened. Let's see what Djokovic has got here. What do you want, Ben? Do you want a fifth set? This is not what you think is going to happen. What would you like to see? Well, Djokovic is my pick for the tournament. So you would like to see Djokovic wrap this up now in four? I want to see a match, mate. I just, I, as long as it's good tennis, I don't mind. So you'd, you'd happily take that you was wrong about your prediction? No, I'm not saying wrong. I'd just go to see to a five. good match. i go to five and then see Djokovic win. I'm not saying oh, he's going to lose. Enough. Great serve by Djokovic down the tee. And then finishes it off. Yeah, typical, isn't it? <laughs> Mellow. That's his trademark shot. <laughs> How are we a minute ahead for you? God, must be bad internet over there. <laughs> <laughs> Vance still calling for the Diego Buster final. Would be pretty epic still. No one would no one's expecting that. <laughs> and Joseph said it's not illegal if you don't get caught. <laughs> well surprisingly i'm sure youtube have some algorithms in there to uh yeah we will get caught yeah exactly oh that's phenomenal we, we, mate we, we, what we, a we, start down the line yeah indeed we already got in trouble for using some uh u.s open clips in one of the podcasts so yeah Backhand you can't... winners Djokovic made 12 buster nine what's that in the match yeah, yeah. I'll try and bring up some statistics. Yeah, because you've got them all there, didn't you? Yeah, I've I got them all. I should probably get a tab up. So, winners in the match. 39 to Djokovic. 36 to Kalinia Buster. you will be surprised by this one. Unforced errors. 32 to Djokovic. 20 to Kalinia Buster. Yeah, I don't think I'm that surprised. Really? Well, look nah. at the scoreline. Yeah, I know what you mean. I think Djokovic. Oh, I just don't know. I feel like he's made a lot of errors. And if he, if he, if Djokovic did cut up them unforced errors, he would have been already in the in the locker room by now. Yeah, that's for sure. He made a double uh, fault that's... there, so he's invited a bit of pressure on here at thirty. Well, this is just not top Djokovic form, is it? Really? Yeah, I think an Adal would. Uh, wow, would great beat return there by Buster. 30 all. Yeah. Here we go. Are we going to see another scream? I feel like one's coming. I can feel one brewing. I There's think if he person. faces a break point here, he's definitely going to get one. It's always that person in the crowd as well. He's there again. <laughs> Who is that guy? He just seems to be at every match. 
Yeah, it's like the trademark uh, noise, isn't <laughs> it? Roland Garros. I quite like it. Oh, he's missed the first serve there, Novak. Here we go. He's missed his first serve in the last three times now. Oh, dear. Can't find it. It's not good. Buster has took a risk there Ooh. only to uh, address Vanch. Buster's not taken enough risks. He took a risk there. Didn't work, though, did it? Long with the backhand and uh, game point Djokovic. So, interesting, interesting. Game point Djokovic, 40-30. Great serve out to the buster backhand. Open the court. Oh, he's firing it pretty hard. He's gone backhand. He's still in it, though. Yeah, he's gone inside that forehand. Buster's fired it into the court, the open court, and it's long from Djokovic. Yep. His hands go up Juice. and say, what have I done? And here we go. Are we going to see five sets here? I'd like to see a break point. Come on, Sean, give us your prediction. <laughs> Djokovic serving. Juice. In the fourth set, one, two. Oh, great return. It's hit it. It hits the baseline. And it's long from Busta. Oh, I don't know. Avantage Djokovic. Did you think that was long? Yeah, it was. I watched the ball bounce. It is in my eyes. I keep seeing funny things. It looked like it was way inside the line. Yeah, those glasses on, mate. Mate, I it do always, have glasses as well. It's, it's <laughs> always it's always weird when the the ball when it bounces the side of the camera this end. Yeah, I know but what you mean. I think I think always so. looks, I think it's the camera angle, isn't it? It looks like it keeps it's deceiving in. me. And there you go. And it's a feeble like uh, it's gone. end. Two all a feeble feeble end to that uh, set, really, isn't it? Yeah, yeah. We've had two hours, 35 minutes played. Djokovic up 2-1. Uh, it's very even in this fourth set at 2 all. Yeah. What's Buster so, got left in the tank? So we got 92 people there in the chat right now. Thanks, everybody, for joining us. We're here at 2 all in the fourth set of this match. Don't forget... If you've just joined us and uh, you're new to the channel, hit the subscribe button. We'll be doing this for the semi-finals and the finals. And hit the like button because it'll get us shown up in more search results. Here we go. We're back into tool. Yeah, Vanch, exactly that, mate. It's a TV footage. It's so deceiving. It's hard to see sometimes whether a ball's in or out. It is. I agree. Our great winner down the line by Carreño Buster and... 15 love. <laughs> Sean's not making any more predictions either. He's keeping with his 100% <laughs> success rate. <laughs> Come on, mate. I think that's Come bold, on. mate. I think this is really hard to call. There's um, people. There's usually, people I would be opting on the side of if you looked, if I just saw the scoreline, I would think that Djokovic is going to get this wrapped up now. That's uh, probably but really guys... impressed me. I think it's tough. Come on. Come on, Sean. There's probably a guy sat there in a betting shop somewhere listening to this, looking at. Waiting for your comment. He's there with the betting slip. He's wanting to put it in. He just knows that Sean's got the predictions. I reckon Don't Karina Buster in five, mate. That must be about 25 Ooh. to one. Shall I have a check? Shall I have a look for you? I reckon it's uh, 12 to one. For him to win the match. Win in five. Well, he's going to have to win in five. Oh, yeah, so. of course. <laughs> <laughs> to win in to four. Win. <laughs> it's going to be impressive. Win in three. That'd be good. Well, it's going down, mate, by the second because we're looking at a game to love. He was just yep. at five to one. It's going down to close to four to one soon. Ooh. The bookies know, mate. They know how Miller's good Buster is. wants it. The hold, the break, the consolidate. This could be a running catchphrase. Ah, oh, it's a wide serve. We're going for the game to love, though. Can Buster give us another game to love in this match? We should be keeping a tally of how many game to loves there are in each match, I think. Yeah, oh, a what a winner tick. by Djokovic. He doesn't want us to have a game to love. <laughs> what a winner. Yeah, yeah.
He just slapped that away, didn't he? It was like, that's a terrible Slap. serve. Get out of my face. <laughs> just slap me. Uh, what are you doing? Just swatted it like a little fly. Great serve, that. Oh, and he's still quick around the court, Djokovic. They're going backhand to backhand. He's fired a backhand into Buster's forehand. Now he's finished it off with an amazing forehand. Do you not think, though, this match is going to really take it out of these players? Um, you'd kind of favour a sitter pass, would you not? <laughs> Say if it goes to five sets and Djokovic wins, what, the sitter pass has a really good chance. <laughs> no, no, I genuinely think he's got a great chance. Djokovic is going to be pretty tired. Uh, little do you know, JG. <laughs> hey, I don't know. How the, how, the, how the grand slams of the big three work, yeah. <laughs> well, where where were they in the US? Where were they in the US? He was somewhere helping someone's. Oh, a double fall from forty fifteen. Is that juice? And, and this is what would, this away a little. And bit. this is I don't know. It's forty love, wasn't it? It was forty love up. And I was going to say, this is the type of thing we might see from Sitapas. Should he be in the same position against Novak Djokovic? Oh yeah, and. Um, Paul for uh, Palomo is saying uh, Carreño wins the match and we get a Spanish derby against Rafa Nadal. Yeah, Mate, well, no be, it would be amazing, but we saw Rafa Nadal sort of heads and shoulders above him on clay a little while, well, I would say. So, mm. out, and it's at a break point now. Yeah, yeah. Bear in mind, we were just talking a second about a second ago, about this being a game to love. Yeah, yeah. So from and a now, game to love, he's facing a break point. That's five points in a row for Novak Djokovic. Oh, at least Jackie Jackie agrees with me. Four, five. Four, five. I agree. The sitter pass is a threat looming for the jock. For the joker. The joker. Ah, oh, Djokovic overcooked it there. And Booty, just the Oscar goes to. He's going to repeat himself until we just speak it. I don't know. The Oscar goes to what? For the best performance of what? Djokovic, I think he's uh, referring he to. Say Djokovic, yeah. Because he's had all these problems. It's wide from Djokovic there, though. You see, he was like, yeah. he was doing that thing where he's like trying to move his body just to yeah. try and move the ball. Like he two can airbend it. Two hours 41 on the clock. Let's see what Buster's got. Can he hold serve it? It's a big one. Oh, that was a late call on the serve, but apparently it's good. The umpire's down. He's looking well, around. I'm not sure if they're sure. Yeah, I think he's sure. What, they give him bust of the point? No. I think well, it, was out. it was out. Taking the tubbies. Do they say second service in France? Yeah, I'd assume so. Well, they say premier <laughs> service. So do they say I can't second? I can't hear it. I don't have it that loud. Come on, so, mate. What's this then? Is this, I thought you just missed his... That's what I'm saying. Oh, was, he he did. He must have said premier service. He must have... Uh, uh, been because it was called out. Uh, it's into the net from Djokovic there and Karenia yeah, Busta. He holds. He's still in it. Three two. Loving it, and we got over a hundred people in the chat. Loving that. Watching. Wait, we're getting to the business end now. This match to love the people start filtering in, and then just to see what's going to happen in this match. And we got some new people in their comments there, and I can't read it because it's in another language. <laughs> hey, you, need to learn some, you need to learn some new languages, Ben. Is this a lang is it a language or is oh, that look at this. Made... break points one? So the tournament, Djokovic has got 64%, uh Buster with 40%, and then today, break points one, Djokovic is up at 40% and Buster 30%. So they're both down the the break, points, quickly. break points one. Keep going. I'll be back. Yeah, no worries. See you in a bit, mate. Oh, that's a relief. He's gone. He's doing my nut in. <laughs> but no, it's all to play for now. It's certainly exciting. 
it's going to be a big ask for Buster to take this and, and bring it to five. Deep down, I kind of want to see it. I think it'll be uh, really exciting. But no, this is a big opportunity here, I feel. I think if he, if he needs to take this set, he needs to start stamping some authority on the match now. And this is no better time at 3-2 up. He's got the scoreboard advantage. Let's trouble Djokovic. Easier said than done, of course. Not many people can do that. And yeah, Pavlos. City Pass can win. Roland Garros. I've been saying it the whole time. I've been including him. I've not been saying it's a big three. I've been saying it's a big four in this tournament. I don't mean the actual big three, of course. I mean Dominic Team, Nadal, Djokovic. And I think you've got to include Sitipas in there. Good serve. Oh, unplayable. Well played, Novak. Big forehand there. Ugh. Oh, I missed. Nothing, mate. He's quit. It's one point. Just oh, a big right. a big forehand by Novak Djokovic. Scared I'm missing stuff, that's all. Did you wash your hands, mate? It's very quick. Yeah, yeah, always, mate. Can't be too <laughs> careful in these situations. You're supposed to sing happy birthday. True. Twice. No, when you do your hand, that's Boris Johnson's advice. When you wash your hands, you've got to sing what? happy birthday what? twice. <laughs> sing happy birthday. <laughs> oh, mate. I didn't sing happy birthday to anybody, mate. 30 love. And yeah, I don't think Buster's going to be getting that break in this one. <laughs> sing happy birthday. That was literally the government advice, mate, on the BBC. Here we go. A bit shambolic. 30 love, Djokovic. Great serve. Great return. Djokovic gets it back in the centre of the court. He's fired the winner down the line and we're looking at 40 love. Are we going to get a game to love? Much possibly. Diego sort of the big four, JG? Yeah, it is harsh, isn't it? It is harsh. Um, mm. Marco though as well. Yes, it is super harsh. I know what you mean. I love Diego as well. So I think just because it's him, we'll have to make an exception and say uh, <laughs> big five. But as, as Joseph says, we'll call it the short four. <laughs> And uh, <laughs> if you want to get Diego in, you can't have it as a big four. It's got to be. A and it's a game four. to love. I don't want to interrupt you there, but game to love. And with three three, cheers, Pshhh. mate. I need to get another beer. Go on then, off you pop. Shall I go now? Yeah, why not? It's three. Th it's the end of the game. So yeah, and then we've got there Marco in the comments. How many sets do you predict tomorrow? With Rafa Diego will take. Well. Me personally, I think that Diego showed some really encouraging signs taking sets of him in Rome. And, uh, well, we're taking sets, I say two sets to love. Uh, I see it being a four setter. I see Rafa winning in four. That's my prediction for tomorrow's match. Was it tomorrow or the day after? No, the day after's match. Sorry. It's the women tomorrow, isn't it? Good serve. Oh, what a return there by Novak Djokovic. An incredible serve answered by an incredible return. I don't know how he got that back in court, but it was back in. And before Buster could even put his foot down, love 30. And that's incredible from Novak Djokovic. Great serve <laughs> by Buster. Still returned by Djokovic. And Buster... A Djokovic has got there, but Buster's at the net waiting. Just pushes it back. Oh, mate, that's better. Nice cold one. Yeah, mate. My one's never as cold after I've had him here waiting for a while. Ooh, I can't open there. He's, he's under pressure, isn't he? Ah, yeah, yeah. You missed an amazing shot from Novak Djokovic. Like He served... An amazing serve on this 15 oh, They're showing strike. it there. They're just showing, they just showed the replay. Oh, that was the last point. The point oh, was before, it? he served out to the wide to the Djokovic backhand. Djokovic hit a return that just went straight in on the corner. Here we go. 15.30. Could this be the testing time? We're at three all. 
interesting noises coming from the players. Yeah, Butter knows this is make or break. There we go. Oh, it's a big backhand from Djokovic. It bounces up. He's got a, it's bounced up again and it's short of the net from oh, Buster. Could have done much more. Two there. break points. Yeah, For two no break points, Djokovic. but I feel like they feel like match points to me. Well, Jackie. I've only, at the moment, I've got this beard lined up, but I'm I'm a bit wary of uh, getting the Henry Westons out again because it's so strong. I said, I don't, mate, I don't do know if that. we'll need it. If Djokovic takes this and breaks, you won't need any more of them. I said, mate. I'd only do this and the, the next Henry Westons if there's a super chat coming in from someone. <laughs> oh, it's in the end to end. Oh, it's a great drop oh. shot. Drop shot of it has got there and it's wide from Carreño. What's he Buster. doing? What is he doing? No idea. What an easy shot as well. He's thrown it away. Gifted it. Gifted it. He tried to be too clever, didn't he? A little bit clever. He had the whole bit. call. He just had to tap it back the other way. Uh, the heat at the moment, although I guess it's hard when you're putting that situation at the net. You've got Djokovic bearing down on you. It's much easier to be sitting here with a beer looking at the screen, but I'm just surprised. I thought uh, Buster, he played just a brilliant drop shot. All he court. has to do is got, play it into the open court. He's tried playing it back the same way and he's missed it. An oh, absolute now, sitter. And now Sean comes out. There we go. Called it. But we were asking for your prediction a long time ago, Sean. Come on. Where have you been? Yeah, it's Get no good predict- calling it now after the horse has bolted. Exactly. Come on, Sean. But yeah, it's not a break until you consolidate. It definitely is not. Come on, JG. You know the rules. What do you reckon? Do you reckon Djokovic can consolidate here? You'd think so, wouldn't you? <laughs> Mate, he missed by quite a way, didn't he? Yeah, it was a it long was some way. distance he missed it by. I still can't get over that shot. Yeah, it was At a this bit stage bizarre. of the tournament, you're quite warm as well. That's just, mate, you can't be doing that. Well, Djokovic, so far in the match, well, let's have a look in this set so far. So far in this set, first service points, one, 75% for Djokovic. Second points, or second service points, one, 53%. It's improved though, is it not, as the match has gone on? Be interesting in this. Oh, no, sorry. I'm in the wrong bloody set, for God's sakes. First service points won 71%, not 75%. Still pretty consistent, though. Second serve, 67%. That's why it's still pretty consistent in serve, this set. Buster's into the net there. He's like he's trying to give it to him now. Yeah, his head's dropped a bit, hasn't it? A lot, a lot, not just a bit. He needs this one, mate. 30 love is a, is a tough score to get back from, but 15 all, it's all to play for. Well, it's out. It's got a second server at two hours 52 now on the clock. I reckon Djokovic wraps it up at three hours 12. <laughs> I'm going to say it now. Three hours 12 and Djokovic's going to wrap it up in four. That's quite long, last couple of games. Yeah, yeah, we're going to have a few long ones. I reckon it's going to be three hours and... 11, and then four. you're going to beat me because you're going to be close. Oh, that's ridiculous. Be a bit more bolder with it. Four. That's still close to mine. How is it close to what? I reckon well, it's only eight to... minutes, mate. All right, he clears it up in three hours, exactly. No, you keep it, you keep it. No, no, no. No, no, don't worry, mate. All right, so you can have your three hours then, I reckon. What did I say? I'm... Well, you're just 12. I'm 12 minutes before. This is ridiculous. <laughs> they have to finish the whole match in seven minutes, which is ridiculous. <laughs> could happen, but... Mate, it could easily happen. Not when Buster's hitting winners like that, because that's 15.30. Yeah, he's fighting back. There's no games to love in this match. No, not match. Game. <laughs> <laughs> Michael, Come on. no will not beat the Greek god. I've been saying it. I think I think Stefanos is going to cause a bit of trouble here. Oh, 
You think I'm crazy, Ben, don't you? I don't think you're crazy. In a general sense, more. Not tennis. <laughs> yeah, that's probably true. Oh, it's in the net and it's two break points. He's not been able to consolidate. Helenio oh, Busta, it? could we be going to five sets here tonight? Could we be going there? Mate, you've, you've still got to break and then break again. Well, once you get four all, it's the business end. That's true. Anything is possible. But the real question is, who wants me to crack open the Henry Westons the second? <laughs> Mate, Come you've on, got to hold off on that. Put it in the well, fridge, mate. I have the fridge is too far you away. You get a little portable fridge beside the. Where you I think I was thinking that. I was thinking I could get like a little mini fridge. That'd be quite cool. Yeah, the, if that Henry Weston, but they're probably worried that if that the Henry Weston saved could, one break point, can he save another? If that comes out, then we're uh, in trouble. Antonio reckons if Buster breaks back, I'm assuming that's what he means. Djokovic is going to break him again. It's yeah, we've seen it. We've seen it happen so many times. Buster, though, you never know. On clay, is I'll another be honest. Entity. The two matches we've done this, we've had Sinner and Buster playing against obviously Nadal and Djokovic, and uh, both of them I've been really impressed with. I thought they've both played excellent matches. Uh, they've just come unstuck against oh. arguably two of the greatest players of all time. Missed it wide there, Buster. Buster, what are you up to, Buster? Yeah, so he's lost them break points. Can he force another one, though? He did this in the first set, didn't he? I think he was love 40 up at one <laughs> point, brought it back to juice, and then he forced an advantage and broke. Well, it's happening again. <laughs> Ah, oh, he's past Djokovic to the net there. Yeah, here we go. Great complaining point. to someone in the crowd. Who? I don't know. It looks like he's not not even facing his... Uh, I don't know who he's complaining at there. I'm it's no more just idea. frustration with himself. Apparently, yeah, it's definitely. raining. We're getting news that it's raining. Ah, oh, no. Here we go. What are they going to do now? Could they close no, the roof? No, we can't have rain now already. <laughs> Come on. <laughs> Don't it's do going to get to the stage where Djokovic is serving for the match. They're going to close <laughs> the roof and then the match is going to turn on its head. Buster's going to mount an extraordinary it's a comeback. winner from win Djokovic. Down the line. <laughs> God, he's screaming again now. And we know what happened last time he started screaming. He went on a tear. So can he do it again? Maybe he can. Maybe he can't. Here we go. We're at juice again. It's been a five minute, 24 seconds game duration. And there we We're go. Approaching my... three hours on the clock. <laughs> my, my prediction looking really awful right now. You forced me. Oh, great volley from Djokovic. Advantage. And it might look good if you allowed me. Wait, my what was your prediction? Three I, said hours. Three, I said three oh four, but you forced me down to three hours for some reason. Okay, come so on. You have your three, I'll you have, no, you have your three oh four, and I'll You're keep my three twelve. Too close. Too close. <laughs> you can have it then. You keep it's it. Too, it's too close to more. It's three eleven. Mate, stick to your stick to your rapper impression. No one wants to hear a me impression. Yeah, uh, both of these players are uh, good, but uh, no, they're not too good. Uh, I'll be both. And in, in, in straight says it's, it's 3 0. It's getting worse, I think. <laughs> it's after not as good drink. today. No, that's no. not as good. That's more of a buster. Yeah, I think it was, wasn't it? I think that was actually <laughs> a buster. <laughs> it's not so great. It's not so great. Oh, uh, Juice. And that three hour, four minutes, mate, it's not looking good at all. Poor prediction, that. But he's not alpha. Saying that, it's still six minutes. It's possible. It is possible. There's only two points. Could be two aces done and dusted. Could be yeah, two, two aces 25. and then he needs to then break Corina Buster. To love. Yeah, in quick fashion as well, in about four minutes. It sounded like Fabio Fanini, apparently. 
Yeah, it did have a bit of an Italian. Uh, it did, didn't it? I was thinking that. I don't know why I went more Italian with that. I thought maybe you're trying to impersonate me. Yeah, but I'm not really no, Italian. You, you're, so. Your Italian accent so uh, thick. <laughs> oh. Yeah. He's really going for it. He's roaring now, Djokovic. What do you think about Rublev when he's playing with his uh, shouts? Yeah, I must admit, his noise is actually the most annoying out of everyone. Yeah. I was watching it. Uh, well, I can't I watch it Rublev it. for too long because of the. I have to literally mute the sound. It's just yeah, too my, annoying. My girlfriend made me mute the TV earlier when I was watching. <laughs> <sitting in the bathroom. laughs> it's like, yeah, it's like some sort of like weird noise, isn't it? Like, yeah. Oh mate, it's the most frustrating thing ever. I don't know. I can't do it properly. I have to watch it again. Oh, Djokovic has missed it, and it's back to juice. He can't get out of this game, can he? No, he cannot. Unforced errors. Djokovic has hit twenty-three backhand unforced errors. Buster only 11. So he's doubled him and some. Wow. Buster's played a good good, good match, to be honest, man. Give the guy some credit, isn't it? Yeah. <laughs> oh, they're Ooh. really going for it here. Oh, he's yeah, looped it's it all up. or nothing, this. Oh, it's out. <laughs> Joe's a secret winning strategy to annoy. <laughs> Could be because Rublev wasn't doing it on a lot of the points, and he's just getting it back when he's not thinking about. It. And as soon as he it stops for a second, it bounces up. He goes and does this weird like noise for like some of the shots. It's very Mate, bizarre. I tell you, someone who does like the Rublev grants, and that's Jackie. She's a big fan of them, apparently. <laughs> not for me, but. Fair enough. Oh, Zhu Djokovic. Oh, Marco saying our scoreboard's wrong. Or is that the scoreboard of the place or our scoreboard? I'm not so sure. It seems right to me. 5 3. Uh, Jackie Djokovic's loves only the one, Rublev one game away. Jackie loves Rublev and the grunts. Mate, I, just, I literally just said that. Did you? I didn't see I've that. I've just done one. that. <laughs> Did you? Yeah, mate, you're losing it. You have to mate. watch this back. <laughs> I was too focused on the actual match. Apologize for that. <laughs> you didn't me to apologize. I apologize. No, oh, I was going to say sorry. Well, that's all right. Don't worry. Everything's all good in love and war. Here we go. How many minutes do we at? That's what we want to know. I think it's three. 0-2. Oh, That's based come on, on my head. Yeah, it is. 3 0 2. Come on. Two more po- three more points. <laughs> hey, what <laughs> did I have? 3 12. 3 12. I had 3 4. Henry Weston's waiting in the wings if we go to a fifth. Oh. Oh. The three-minute break can That's not going to do you any good, mate. <laughs> that is not going to be good. He still needs four points. All right. He's three points, isn't he? 30, 40, done. No. Sorry. Oh, shit. Sorry. I mean, ah, <laughs> oh, God. Apologies. <laughs> First swear of the whole thing. <laughs> I thought it was 15 all. You've lost the flop. I oh, know. It. It's, gone. it's gone, mate. It's all gone. I hope we get to the end of this podcast because I don't know don't, how much long you've got, how much don't, longer. Don't get us to a fifth set, Christ. <laughs> Otherwise, the other Henry Weston's coming out. Maybe it's your turn to start singing a bit of Chapo, I think. We do a little bit of an outro song. Uh, yeah, so Menez is on my side. So, so hold up on 307 wins it for Ben. <laughs> oh, <laughs> yeah, that's, that's interesting. He's done the maths. Yeah, that's it. We like it. So that's what you need, Ben. A 307 hold and then you win. It's going to oh. be tight this, actually. Oh, it's 40 15. Oh, no. It's getting too close to the... Uh... That's good. That's what we want. Come on, Buster. <laughs> You're Wouldn't only cheering him, today. cheering him on for all the wrong reasons. 
No, there we go. Good... I want him to get more points, mate. He deserves it. He's played a, a brilliant match. I agree with Powell Ferrer. The grunts in the WTA are way worse. <laughs> yeah, they are. Oh, je. How many minutes are we at? Three hours, four. Oh, that's what... So that's it looks like seven. I've won, mate. Basically, what do you mean? Djokovic... You three minutes. This yeah, is the this count. To... Yeah, he needs to serve it out in three minutes. In two, he has to in two minutes because I think this one minute for the changeover. Yeah, exactly. So ah. he's going to have to serve it out in two minutes. Three right? aces. Means... We need. We need three aces. Well, we need four. Isn't it just three? <laughs> he lost the plot. <laughs> 15, 30, 40, match. Yeah. <laughs> Kyr- if it was Kyrgios, I'd uh, actually rely on it. But I'm not going to rely on Djokovic, especially on clay. Yeah, it's not happening, man. It's not happening. Just admit I won again. What do you mean you won again? <laughs> what did you win on? I'm just winding you up. No, mate, don't. I'm annoyed. Djokovic is sporting the towel over his head, look. Ah, the one thing we were all forgetting on all of this is who's picked for the tournament might be going through in the next game. And, mate, uh, mine's already through. Mine's already in the semis. Mate, 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 He's waiting. Mine's- Mine's already through. He's playing against the guy who beat him in Rome. Next yeah, match. he's going to beat the sports this time, mate. Yeah, you it's not say that. Again. We'll, like we'll see. Strike twice. We'll, You've seen we'll it today. See. Look, listen, what happened with the pass? He lost to Rublev in Hamburg. Yeah? What happened today? Beat him. What happened to Buster and Djokovic in the US Open? Buster beat him. Look what's happening today. Well, that's what Schwartzman's I'm saying. going to be devastated. Schwartzman, the same thing's the going to happen. Turned, Schwartzman you beat him in your... Rome. He's not going to beat him at Roland Garros. You turning your back on Schwartzman, he's never going to forget this, that you Mate, followed him all this time and you oh, turn your back oh. on him when it's the, his biggest time in his I'm career. I'm just saying, Nadal's going to win. You've turned your back on Schwartzman at his biggest time. Mate, he's exhausted. I, I, rem- I remember he's exhausted. This. He will remember this. He will not even do an interview with you when he meets Mate, them you. little legs, he's run, he's run <laughs> enough for, uh, Mate. For, his, for, for a lifetime. Mate. Here we go. Let's see what he's got here. They've got hours left in them. Can Buster win this whole match from this position? That would be epic. That's going to be going powerfully here right now. There's only one break of serve, remember? I know. Maybe we're Sorry. writing Buster off too soon. <laughs> yeah, mate. If he breaks here, we're going. Potential. Look at that winner down the line. Yeah, that's Kalin what I'm saying. He's booster. stepping it up now. He the knows Kalin, what's your booster. Stake. He's on the verge of losing this match and he's just up the level. Can any your booster? Algo Mas! <laughs> That's what they said in the crowd. Sorry, I'm just repeating what they're saying. What's that mean? And more, I think. Algo Mas! Give, give us more. One more. Yeah, one more. Is it Algo Mas? And one more? Or just another one? Yeah, another one, I think it is. Yeah, yeah. Another give us, one. Give us more. Oh, Djokovic. That's, that looks out. What? No one's challenged Mate, that. No, it's the TV. It, it was Is it, it the TV again? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ah, it's the Henry the West. Trick, mate. Henry, Henry Weston, <laughs> mate, I think. It's a combination <laughs> of the cider. <laughs> you. I'm like this. I'm like this. I'm like you put this, them three together, mate, and the line calls are not going to be good. I'm like this. <laughs> <laughs> Trying to see what's going on. I might need some of your glasses. Mate, where are my glasses? I should be around. Here we go. Second serve. Novak Djokovic. Novak Djokovic. The match. Three points away from a place <laughs> in the semi final. It's a good return. They're going cross court backhands. Oh, it's a great shot by Djokovic. He's really got the range on that backhand. Buster hanging in this, and it's into the net from Djokovic. 15 30. Or Gans Trant, as the umpire reminds us that we don't speak English in Paris. <laughs> How's my 3 12 prediction coming on? No, it's probably gone, mate, already. I think it's 3 I think it's 3 0 8. I think moment. it's perfect, mate. That's exactly what I wanted. It's going to go to juice, and then Djokovic's yeah, well. going to hold it out, and it'll be a 3 12 finish. I should have gone 3 11. <laughs> and then you can then you can you can down your beer. Wow. 30 all. 30 all. Oh, 
Lion Eyes uh, back in a bit of sitter pass there. I he's see two points away, but he's also two points away from being broken as well. Oh, so I accidentally. Yeah, exactly. Him. Listen, Lion Eye, exactly what I've been saying. If Djokovic plays like this against Sitter Pass in the semi final, he's got a massive chance. Stefanos. Oh, it's into and I the think net there. Wait for that one. We'll do a live watch along for it. It's going to be an epic match. Yeah. Here we I go. Could see a sit pass in the final. I keep saying it. People call me crazy. I think it's going to happen. <laughs> Here we go. I'm going to have to the flag in. for the next one. It's wide from Boston. We got our first match point. Here we go. Novak Djokovic serving for the match. He and must have the sensed crowd erupts. the end of this Cronenberg. Thomas Tom Rowley, Rowley wants to know, is the, is the fridge stocked up for a big day tomorrow? We'll be out. We'll be going out. We've got to go oh, out. I'm going to have to make a Tesco visit, I think. Yeah. Or any other supermarket. <laughs> <laughs> All other supermarkets are available. <laughs> <laughs> Here we Local go. corner shop I've got. Oh, it's a <laughs> Ben, you're going to miss the match point. I'm here, mate. Here we go. He's gone wide out to the back end there. He's gone down the line. Buster, cross court. He's gone cross court. It's the winner. Novak Djokovic go. into the semifinals. Fair play, Novak. Boom. Good match, man. Really good match. I feel sorry for Buster. He put up a good fight, but it's just too much, isn't it? He took a set off him. I think he can be proud for that. But Novak Djokovic was just a man on a mission today and he's roaring right now. And it sets up an exciting match, which I feel is going to be super close as well against the Greek, Stefano Sitipas. Yeah, mate. Oh, he's changed it. What? You've changed your background. Yeah, mate. <laughs> Novak Djokovic. Is Novak going to do the thing with the crowd? He's got to do it, right? He does the... <laughs> <laughs> there he goes, <laughs> doing it right now. I know, it's so weird. It is he weird. was doing it for the, like, uh, <laughs> like the, the empty stands. Now there's people in it. It's a bit weird. So go on, then. I'm going, to I'm going to catch you right now, Ben. What do you think? Go Who's going to win? Djokovic or Sitipas? Well, I've already picked... My winner for the tournament. So you're sticking, so with, sticking you're going to stick with I'm that flag. With I would, l well, there's still part of me that would love to see Sitter Bass go through if he can beat Rafa Nadal, though. Or if he can beat Schwartzman, maybe as well. But I would love to see, well, I'd love to see Sitter Bass go through, but I'm sticking with my pick. I'm going to go Novak Djokovic in four sets. I think uh, Sitter Bass in four sets as well. I don't what think do it's going to go the distance. Sitter Pass is going to get it done in four. Pass in four sets. Who are you in four sets. Come on, get and, out of uh, here. I've actually got an accountant friend in the chat. Good to see him here, Kieran Follett. He said, <laughs> four master, a cruel world. <laughs> <laughs> cruel. <laughs> he loves a good pun, this one. <laughs> <It's> <laughs> terrible. But anyway, thank you guys for joining us. And We've enjoyed all your comments wins. and company. And JG 10. wins at 310. I called it a 312. Uh, Ben's going to have to pay me back some, somehow. I'm not sure what he's going to have to do. Maybe he can uh, just down his drink after this. You can me. have a Henry Weston, mate. <laughs> it's for you. I'll but send anyway, one over. I just want to say a huge thank you. If you've not subscribed to the channel already, please hit the subscribe button. Like the video too. And Definitely. we'll see you shortly for all of the semi-final action. Obviously on the women's and men's side. You got anything Definitely. to say, Ben? No, I just appreciate everybody joining us for this one. It's been uh, an emotional roller coaster just watching Novak Djokovic come out of the depths of despair with his rosy red cheeks and his pain in his neck and his arm. But was it showmanship? Was it gamesmanship? Is it just Novak Djokovic playing mind games as usual? Well, irrelevant we'll to all of that, out. it's his 10th semi final now at Roland Garros. So this guy has an incredible talent. Arguably the GOAT, the greatest of all time. Let's see what he's got against the final. So I think it's going to be a good match. So stay tuned with us and we'll see you next time.